<laughs> can I can I can I ever start a stream without uh, without laughing my ass off? <laughs> oh, it's uh, this is gonna be a fun day. This is gonna be a fun stream. I've been looking forward to this one. I think uh, I think some people have been looking forward to this one too. This is gonna be a this is uh this is gonna be one for the ages. Yeah, it's uh it's April first. We're absolutely uh nothing weird is going on today. Everything is uh everything's nice and normal. We're playing we're playing normal video games today. There's nothing uh nothing weird going on with the uh the alerts. <laughs> I know like uh uh people had suggested like uh if I was gonna do like an April Fool's oh, there we go. Uh, people were wins. <laughs> Even Rika can't believe it. Maybe I should uh, thank some people before I uh, before I get started. Rika did not want to sit here. Um, da -da -da -da. I'm gonna get back to my dashboard. Yeah, there were there were a few subs in the pre-stream. Maybe I should thank people before I start. Uh, Shaxpert, thank you for the 34 months. Impending disaster. Thank you for the for the big eighty nine. Dasiati also with the big eighty nine. And the sunshine fund with the big eighty three. Thank you X seventeen and and mortars for the best. And thank you Ty for the for the big old raid during the pre stream. If anybody uh, if anybody came in from that stream and is new around here, yeah, we usually uh, uh, we usually play arcade games around here. <laughs> I will be playing arcade games tonight. Just uh, we gotta we gotta get started. Uh, yeah, I didn't see a, I didn't see a notice thing. Yeah, there's there's some weird thing going on with the alert, the alerts today. Don't worry about it. It would uh, it would suck if people like subbed to the stream or, or gave away gift subs because we don't uh, we don't need to see stuff like that. Just no, don't worry about it. Don't do anything like that. Wink. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, today, yeah, it's April Fool's, April 1st, uh, usually national, like, stay off the internet day. Yeah, everybody wins! <laughs> Neo Antoine, thank you for the, for the 45 months. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like, people had suggested, uh, for an April Fool's Day stream, I should be playing, uh, I should be playing the actual popular games, but I don't think I could like keep that joke going for like an entire stream. I don't know. It's it'd be funny at first, but it also kind of feels like a it feels like a waste of your your regularly scheduled uh, weekly push to reject stream. So uh, I figured it'd be better to uh, to play games tonight that have gigantic fake game energy. Like these games are all real. These games were all allegedly developed for. Uh, <laughs> For arcades, maybe some of them didn't really didn't really get a wide release. Uh, a lot of these games don't really uh, don't really have much in the way of like information available on like where they were released, if they if they got a wide release, like what the uh, what the cabinets looked like. Like there's a there's a lot of mystery involved with a lot of these games today. But we'll uh, we'll do our best to uh, to fill in the blanks. Uh, maybe, maybe some people will, will know more. I'm sure people are going to run off to Wikipedia, but I probably already checked that. <laughs> but no, we're doing, uh, we're doing the usual stuff. Just, uh, I mean, I know, <laughs> I've been, we've been teasing this one for a while. I know people have been wanting to, been wanting to see, uh, a particular game. Of course, we're going to start with that. We have to, we have to start with that. But first, we need to we need to talk a little more about uh, about who the hell who the hell developed this game because we still don't really uh, we still don't have like a, a concrete answer as to uh, as to where this game was developed, where it was uh, intended for for sale, how many units got sold. If the <laughs> did they even sell the cabinets? Did they just like mysteriously appear in arcades? Because you know who's going to? Uh, what kind of ar arcade operator is going to uh, 
spend like a thousand thousand dollars or more from on fucking Uncle Pooh. So <laughs> it was a, this game was a gigantic uh, shit post. So this this game was developed not developed this game was uh, licensed to a company called Diatech. Diatech is not uh, I don't know what the fuck Diatech is. What else they like actually uh, actually sold? This is the only the only arcade game there uh, they have credit for. I don't know like what else they did. This might have just been some some developer that was uh, trying to get into into the arcade craze a little late, right? As the uh, the arcade market was kind of uh, kind of sinking in 1983, or it's just a yeah, it's just a fake company that uh, that the developers. Uh, <laughs> Tried to uh, tried to shamefully hide their uh, hide their work under. Who knows? Who knows? But we uh, we do have some theories now as to like who made this game. Like it, like Diatech were not the uh, the programmers. It says developer there, but we'll put uh, put a question mark there because we also think that this game might have been developed by. Uh, Company called Hi uh, Hara Industries, which was were the developers behind a game from 1982 that got one bongo. Good old uh, Jack the Giant Killer. That was a uh, that was a piece of shit. I don't have a. <laughs> I didn't ready a picture of Jack the Giant Killer, but uh, uh, y'all might remember Jack the Giant Killer. That was a that was a pretty bad game. But. Uh, Somebody, uh, somebody theorized that uh, that those those developers left like little signs in their not little signs in their games, but there's little similarities in some of their games that uh, that you can see in uh, in Uncle Pooh in uh, in the next game we're going to cover Vampire, uh, a couple other games. There's one game, there's one game they allegedly allegedly released called uh, or developed called Lover Boy, which was a uh, we're not gonna look at it tonight because it's a maze game where uh, you? you're I'm a uh, you're a big Thank naked you? dude, not a big but man that's a good time to raid Dino. Holy crap! Thank you for the for the big old raid. Here come the rack attacks. Here come the Dino scoots. Yoko wins. <laughs> Gear strike. Thank you for the <laughs> for the 25 months. Not a big naked dude. It's just a naked dude. But yeah, Lover Boy is a game where you're a naked dude running Lover around a maze, wins. trying to uh, trying to capture women, and we're just gonna leave it at that. Also, thank you. Uh, all these Dino scoots have scrolled my screen up. Who, who said that? A two B. Thank you for the sixty seven months. How are you? I'm fine. Damn, I'm what? Here. Everybody raided me. Joe P. Real. Thank you for the raid. So let's get a let's get another another picture of uh, like I said we don't have any uh, we don't have any pictures of what the cabinet looks like for Uncle Pooh so uh, uh, yeah there he is there's there's Uncle Pooh but he's not actually pooping the the, the poo noise is the uh, he farts from his butthole and that his that is his means of attack in this game I think I've uh, I think I've talked enough let's. Uh, Let's get into it. Yeah, I had other theories about this game, but after after hearing about uh, uh, after hearing the Hara Industries theory, I'm totally on board with that. So let's uh, let's load up Uncle Pooh. Oh yeah, this game was uh, I think it was dumped around like 2010. I believe the board was found in Europe, so like maybe this was intended for. <laughs> to be sold in Europe. I don't know if anybody... I don't think anybody's ever seen a cabinet of this. I would love for somebody to come come forward with like any information. If anybody... If anybody has seen this fucking game. So you are a, uh, a bearded man escaping a flood while, while monsters try to chase you. And he can, he can fart out his butt. The object of the game is to uh, is to find three diamonds, and uh oh, he's gonna die. Uncle Pooh is allergic to water. 
And that's the, uh, that's the gist of Uncle Pooh. So with that being said, let's put in a credit. And... Say it with me. Let's Uncle Pooh! Yes, the game... The game straight up tells you, let's Uncle Pooh. Uh, take that. <laughs> uh, uh. Gotta poo these blocks away. So if you pick up the money bag that gets rid of the blocks and gives you points, uh, take that. And if you hit press, if you hold down button two, uh, he gets fast run power, and that drains your power at the bottom. Uh, Pooing uh, takes out one pal. Yeah, that says eight-way movement. He can he can run diagonally. I like how the uh, all the action stops every time he hits somebody with a with a poo blast. And every time you pick up a money bag, you get more power. Five more power, so you can actually you can actually try to farm points a little bit. Uh, can I get that that last diamond? Yeah. This game is real! You can load it up in MAME! It's been in MAME since, like, 2010. See, I have to admit, like, one of my theories about this game was that, like, yeah, maybe somebody just, like, programmed this game as a joke. And, like, slipped it into MAME. Like, yeah, uh, we, we dumped this game called, uh, called, uh, 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 Uncle Pooh! Yeah, uh, that's the ticket, yeah! And nobody, uh... Nobody could say, like, well, you can't, uh, you can't prove it's not real. Can you prove we made this game up? And so Uncle Pooh's just been this, uh, gigantic joke that's, that's been in MAME for a while. I <laughs> made this game for a Disney sitcom. Oh yeah, I didn't even... Oh, shit. Almost, hold on, let me pause for a second. I didn't even mention... This game runs on the uh, the Jack the Giant Killer hardware, so that uh, that lends extra credence to the theory that uh, that Hara Industries company did actually develop this. Well, that guy is. So my question is, why are the animals like so determined to kill Uncle Pooh, considering they're about to to die in a flood? Bonus stage. The masturbating bear music from Conan O'Brien. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Oh, I'm not gonna get. The, uh, I'm not gonna get the perfect. Damn, they're good. You're stuck in the middle here. There we go. I forget like how much of a bonus you get if you get a perfect. He smells, and they're trying to make him take a bath in the flood. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Maybe Uncle Pooh is Moses, and the flood has like hit the uh, has hit the earth, and like these are the animals that like didn't get on the ark, and they're they're pissed at Uncle Pooh. That was my theory about the game's lore. Did I say Moses? Yeah, I meant Noah. <laughs> Sorry, my my brain has been pooified. Okay, I uh, couldn't get that money bag. Ugh. So if you don't get the money bag, all the blocks are still there. Oh. Uh, how many diamonds did I get? Like, oh shit, this is a maze. <laughs> yeah, I hope this is game number 1000 at, at Galloping Ghost. I'm gonna keep saying that like every... Every Monday mystery stream. Your Monday mystery game is none other than Uncle Pooh! Released by Die Attack in 1983. Outrageously rare game. One day. Oh god, I, that's not the last. Oh god, I'm running out of poo power. The flood is speeding up, I think. Like, if anywhere's gonna get a an Uncle Pooh machine, it'll be Galloping Ghost, right? There we go. 
So I think you get a... You get an extra life every 30,000, which is pretty generous. Um, I believe there's, like, kind of some problems with leeching in this game, because... Uh, you can't really, like, earn an extra life, like, every... Every life. Like, you can't just get into a, into a loop of that, but... Um... From what I know, this game kind of has a kill screen. <laughs> uh, apparently, like, the farthest anybody's gotten is round 19. And by then, the, the water's just too fast that you can't really... You're not gonna survive. I believe the high score is held by, uh... <laughs> Galloping Ghost T20, uh... Multi-champion, uh, Zerst. He got, like, uh... 400,000 or something? Talk for kids, my impersonation. Uh, there's a lot of viewers, because I got big ol' raids from, uh, from Ty Tuesday and Dito. And they're... Also, they're here. Oh, he got... He got got. He got killed by a snake. Yeah, there was a, uh... <laughs> when this game got added to MAME... <laughs> uh, uh, John Cunningham, a.k.a. Weehawk, uh, held a contest on the, the Classic Arcade Gaming forums to give out a cash bounty to, uh, to who could, whoever could get the highest score in Uncle Pooh uh, for that week. It was Uncle Pooh week. And I believe Zerst got the highest. You get more when they're flashing? Uh, good question. So, like, Shock Trooper Second Squad? Shit, I can't get that one. Uh, I need to get that diamond! No! The snakes are good. I'm not very good at Uncle Pooh. My other theory about this game is that, like, this is... This is basically Polybius. Like, like, there's no way this game was real. Like, some government operatives, like, made this game and just put it in an arcade to see if anybody would notice. And it was secretly, like, like an MK Ultra thing. That was my other theory about this game. But that's not proven. <laughs> Uncle Psyop, yeah. Because, I mean, nowadays, like, you can you can just release something on, on Steam called Uncle Pooh. And, you know, you might get, like, a little bit of attention for it. People might might share your, your YouTube video or tweet or whatever. But, you know, going back to 1983, like, we didn't have the internet. Like, you couldn't make a... You couldn't make a shitpost game like this and... Like... <laughs> You know, arcades have to spend, like, a lot of money to buy these cabinets, you know? And so you're you're asking arcade operators to spend, like, a thousand dollars? Maybe less? Maybe a little more? This this couldn't have gone for, like, a thousand dollars, right? As a, con as a conversion board, like, maybe it was, like, six hundred or seven hundred or whatever. Oh, man. Oh, this one's tough. You gotta have your poo ready in the right spot. Like that. What? I don't know these patterns at all. Ah, oh, they're good. So, I mean, the, uh, the arcade industry was, like, already, already in trouble in 1983, and, you know, you have a lot of games, like, vying for attention. And so how can, how can you sell a game called Uncle Pooh with a straight face? That's, that's always been, like, the, the most fascinating thing about, uh, about Uncle Pooh. This is just the same maze. But a different color. Yeah, I, I want to see what the cabinet looks like. I want to see what the, uh, the marquee looks like. I will not be satisfied until we see what an actual Uncle Pooh cabinet was supposed to look like. There's no flyer or anything like that. Like, surely they needed to make a flyer. You gotta get the word out about Uncle Pooh. You need the... Uh, you need people to see this horrible old man and his, uh... His gas problems. Uh-oh. Don't waste a lot of poo power here. Okay. Ah, that guy, that guy's fast. 
What do I think of the 8-bit guy's barcade? What? Who what? <laughs> I don't think I'm familiar with that. <laughs> Uncle Pooh, the sweet smell of profit. Yeah, that should have been the, the fucking catchphrase for it. That's a good one. Heidi approves too. Uh. Ah. Ah. I'm wasting too much poo power. Uh oh no! God, big hitbox. All right. I gotta get to ninety thousand at least. I need to get that one up. So you do kind of have to know the the mazes ahead of time, I think. Because, yeah, like, the first couple stages this game seems, like, pretty reasonable. And then you have all these stupid diagonal mazes, which you don't have much room to move. And they're just kind of, like, repeating this pattern. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that. All of a sudden, the enemies are dangerous. There we go. Uh. Oh my god! That guy was on a mission! Bah! <laughs> that is such a good game over tune. Sign your initials for the top ten. Select your initial by the lever and set it by the shot button. Whoa, we got, uh... We got plain card suits. Cool. Shave and a... Wait. Shave and a haircut to two... <laughs> poo bits. Oh, they give me... They give me plenty of time, at least. Oop. Not PTQ. PTR. Whatever. So that... That top... The, the way that top ten list looks is, like, very, uh... Uh, very reminiscent of what the top ten list looked like in Jack the Giant Killer. And the next game, it also it also kind of looks uh, similar to that. And so that's like another reason everybody everybody kind of believes that Hara Industries... Not everybody, but a couple people believe that Hara Industries were the... The ones that developed this game licensed it to a company called Diatech. Diatech. However you want to pronounce it. And... Uh, That is that is the mystery of Uncle Pooh. Like we like I said, we don't have a <laughs> Maybe one day we'll see what the cabinet looks like. Oh, Salte, thank you for the for the fifty bits. I could play another credit of this. Also, I like how the insert coin, one coin, one play just gets like scrolled off the screen. It just gets it gets drawn on the screen and then it's gone. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ah no. Do I need to play another credit of this? I think I will. Just because I want to say, say it with me, everybody. Let's Uncle Pooh. Point zero. Look, this is this is the time to play Uncle Pooh, right? <laughs> Man. But yeah, it, like there is the possibility that, that this game was like just a just a location test prototype that was found, which would explain why you know there's no there's no information about this game anywhere. And it's not by a very uh, like you know like Atari prototypes are usually usually have like more info what the cabinets looked like, because those some of those developers might still be around, they might have talked about them, might have shown pictures or whatever, and people might have seen them. <laughs> Thank you, Let's Uncle Pooh, for the for the five five bongo bucks. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be so many fives for this, aren't there? It should have been game number two. Yeah. Missed opportunity. Went right down the toilet.
But he's not actually, like, when people say poo, it's usually associated with, uh, you know, plop. With, uh, with poop. But, in this case, the poo is just, uh, just a fart. But I, I, I will say this much, though. Oh, wait, I want to hear the jams. Challenging round, go! I need to get that perfect. Oh, wrong way, wrong way! No! I thought it, I thought it was up left. I gotta memorize this. Damn. Yeah, why was this never on Starcade? <laughs> Let's see if there's a perfect bonus. But yeah, I was I was gonna say, like, all things considered, like for something called Uncle Pooh, this is not like unplayable. <laughs> like, yeah, the mazes these mazes get kind of annoying. But like compared to Jack the Giant Killer, this game is art. Like, this is actually, like, you know, it controls okay. You can fire your poo blast in eight directions. It's pretty easy to understand. There is sort of some satisfaction in hitting enemies with poo blasts. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's kind of playable. Yeah. Who would have thought? Where's the, uh, where's the diamond? Oh, that's not the last one. I'm running out of poo power. Who's the game of the night? Ah! Let me look at what I had planned for night. Yeah, it might be game of the night. <laughs> There's not gonna be very many high ratings on this. <laughs> ah yes, thank you for the quarter. Yeah, it wasn't the Chuba Olympics, but I think I think Zerse had reached the uh, uh, round 19, which I have, we believe to be the kill screen, like back in 2010. So I think Zers was the first one. He was a, a pioneer in, in poo technology. Is there a task of this? Not a task, it's a pass. Who assisted Superplay? Uh, what is this guy doing? Shit. He's got to be playing good defense. Uh, get in there. I'm running out of poo power. Oh god, I went the wrong way. I'm dead. Take a bath, idiot. Oh, I'm sure there's there's other games where like you know you fire stuff from <laughs> from your from the rear. There's there's the oil slick in in Spy Hunter, right? That's kind of a man. Was Spy Hunter inspired by Uncle Pooh? Tune into my new episode of Game Theory. I don't think anybody at Midway saw this game. <laughs> ah! Okay. There we go. This guy. The snakes with their their little top hats, they look like uh they look they look like they're from that like that those Richard Scary books. I'm sure they ripped that off. The busy town where yeah. Richard Busy's scary town. Do, 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 do. 
Okay. Challenging round, go! Ow! Oh, that's too fast. <laughs> I like how the music slowed down there for a second. That was pretty good. Yeah, the game has to stop the action every time you, you land a kill. They gotta give you that satisfaction. Yeah, I know it's the Saber Dance, but I'm always gonna think of it as the, uh, <laughs> the masturbating bear theme from Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Alright, maybe I can get this one. There we go. <laughs> they have a little halo that goes up too. Like going to heaven. I know, do you get more money for picking up the money bags when they're they're yellow? I don't think so. Boom. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I'm just skipping everything. His shoes turn green when they're turbo. I don't know the significance of that. It turns slimy. Alright, this one. Whoa. What was that noise? I want to clear this stage at least. Get up there. Yeah, they go up like each time you pick one up for that stage, and then they reset on the next stage. Ah! Oh, this maze is like different. Oh, that's a diamond down there. I need that. Thought it was a money bag. Fuck it, I'm out of here. Nice. Oh, nice, Mega Drivers. A lot of good stuff in there. Oh, this is just the same stage. Different order, maybe? Damn it, I guessed wrong. You gotta memorize this. <laughs> Number of hits, 11. I got another poo. is speeding up a little bit. Oh, this is a new maze, actually, I think. Oh, can't get around that. Maybe that one's not worth it. Ah, oh, I s dodged it. Also, they they, they kind of pop off when they get the kill, too. Like, yeah, we killed that old man. Take that! I'm so proud. Alright. Damn. I need to buff the size of the, the poo box. Need some buffs in Season 2. Uh-oh. I don't think I have time to get that. Ow! He popped off on me again. Yeah, this game is patternable up until round 19, and then... Doesn't seem like anybody can clear it. That's like the Uncle Pooh kill screen. The Pooh screen, if you will. That fucker. Oh, there's another one! Alright, they used up like all my power. 
Ah. Oh my god, they are so good at dodging. <coughs> I gotta angle the shots. Stay just kicking my ass. That's the ass I poo from. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> oh man, the King of Pooh, I'd watch that. That'd be a good documentary. Who is the Billy Mitchell of Uncle Pooh? Ooh, this ground looks gross. It's like I'm in the sewer or something. Oh, it's one of these stages. Ugh. Oh, wow, they, they left, like, oil behind. Alright, this, this is a problem. Take that. Take that. Stupid Richard Busy Town. Okay. I gotta charge charge my poo power up a little bit. There we go. That's a dead end. Shit. Yeah, nobody's gonna falsely claim they're the, the king of poo. Oh, that's not the last one. Shit. The stage was so long, I thought that was the third diamond. Oh god, they're speeding up. There it is. Come on, yeah. Why do they have halos coming out when they die? Were those were those monsters actually good? Are we the villain here? Is that the big uh, the big twist in Uncle Pooh? A Hideo Kojima game. That's deep. Maybe that's another another common theme linking these uh, these horror industry games together because yeah the next game you are definitely not a good guy. <laughs> we'll just say that right now. So yeah, it is it is kind of repeating itself a bit. They've only got so many mazes. Yeah. Yeah, why not why not just release Uncle Pooh and Arcade Archives? Who's gonna who's gonna come forward and claim, hey, you can't do that. That's our copyright. That's our property. Cause then it's like, well you just admitted that you made Uncle Pooh. You realize what you just did? That's like a That's like a Columbo twist right there. Uncle Pooh should be in the public domain, I think. Yeah, th this game isn't bad. That's th that's the thing about all this. Like, this game is not, like, unplayable garbage. Like, we, we have seen some garbage in this series. But this is, like, fairly playable. It's repetitive, but, you know... What are you gonna do? Fuck, fuck. No, no, no! You'll never take me alive. He just melts. Man has never taken a bath in his life. Yeah, 
Yeah, there were definitely popular games that played worse than this. Don't get me started. <laughs> Snake is popping off. He's so happy. He's got the little uh, uh, shift six eyes. So I mean, it's 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 got some character to it, even like you know the enemies are they're so happy when they murder you. That's kind of cool. I guess. <laughs> That was their plan all along, just to, you know, release a game with a with a title like this. That'll get your attention. But the question is, how many arcades? Poo bits. How many how many arcades can you get to buy this? All right, we have uh, we have pooed it up enough for tonight. <laughs> We gotta rank this bad boy. It is finally time to rank Uncle Pooh. So, as usual, I'm going to put a put a little poll in chat. Some people have some people have tried this game out for themselves. I know there's some uh, some poo die hard some poo hards in chat. <laughs> but if not, like, uh, how impressed were you by what you saw? Would you uh, would you want to try this out? You know, rate the game on a on a scale of one to five bongos. We'll give it uh, we'll give it a minute. I I expect there to be plenty of joke votes, and I will I will render my verdict when this is done. Yeah, it it, it is kind of unfortunate the mazes are get repeated a lot. They're basically the same basic designs, but, you know, Pac-Man did that, too. Pac-Man was literally the same maze for 255 stages. Damn, I thought there'd be... There'd be more joke votes. <laughs> there's a lot... Oh, wait, 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 no, there's a lot. <laughs> I, was, I was reading this the wrong way. Dang, it's all over the place. Well, that's like, that's a lot of fours and fives. That was, the fours and fives were almost like half of the votes. That's pretty impressive. I mean, I do, I do kind of have to wonder like how many, uh, how many of those fives were jokey, but. <laughs> I mean, I can, I could definitely see it being. <laughs> it, it, it was not gonna take over the arcade world, but mm, yeah, averages out to three point six. Well, personally, my rating, the uh, what I was gonna give this, like even before. Before I started the stream, because I have played this before, I was definitely giving it a three. It is, uh, it has some problems, you know. Like I said, the mazes kind of repetitive. I hate those. I hate those diagonal one-block mazes. But you know, there's there's just something to the whole, the whole mystique of Uncle Pooh. Like, how? Why does this game exist? How does it exist? We may never have the. We never may we may never have the full answer. We may we may never find the developers behind this. I would I would love to read an interview with them. But it is uh It's an actual playable video game against all odds. Like <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> how did that happen? So good on you, Uncle Pooh. Good on you. 
Oh, wait, I forgot to remove the... I'm gonna remove these for the next one, or else people are gonna be like, Oh, you gave this game a three? Alright. <laughs> Uncle Pooh. What a legend. Oh, forgot the, uh, the ambiance. So, the other, uh... I don't know if this was, uh... Drew Scanlon rated Uncle Pooh's favorite arcade game of 2020. Well, it wasn't released in 2020, but sometimes you discover these things a little late. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? There were the... There was uh, some some rumbling, some news in the uh, the arcade emulation community in the past couple months. Um, uh, I think in January, yeah, in January, uh, a collector in Germany uh, mentioned that he had a board that uh, he was looking to. I think he was like looking to get it repaired or something. Uh, like one of the ROMs was going bad or something, and he posted up on 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 Kalov, on the killer list of video games for him, because uh, turns out there was already a thread for this game where people were wondering about the uh, uh, about the existence of this game. No, it's not Uncle Pooh. <laughs> it is... Do I have the right picture? That's not the right picture. Uh, he had a board of a game that was... Uh, uh, that people knew about, because a flyer exists for this. We'll take a look at that. Um, there was hands-on experience with somebody who played this game. Uh, this game was known as just just known as Vampire, not to be confused with uh, with uh, Darkstalkers. The Japanese Japanese versions was just called Vampire. No, this game came out in 1983. Uh, one source says it came out in 1982, but it does have a 1983 copyright. Um, that might be the picture of the cabinet that was uh, that was added in arcade in. Uh, in New York, Robert Mruckchek said he uh, said he played it. He had like a distinct uh, distinct recollection of playing it at like a specific arcade in New York, and said the game was so hard he never got past like a full stage of it. So people have wondered about this game for a while. Like I said, there is a there is a flyer here. So in this game, you're not you're not killing the vampire, you are the vampire. Drink blood or die. Surrounded by threatening priests, falling garlic, spraying water, and constantly watching for the deadly sunrise, our vampire seeks valiantly to sink his fangs into the neck of lovely ladies. So this game's a little problematic. <laughs> Unique multi-dimensional moves... Oh, I forgot to update the game name. Hold on. Might as well do this now. Actually developed by Entertainment Enterprises. Fake ass name. Uh, unique multi-dimensional movement. So realistic, it looks like 3D. Computer augmented animation uses heretofore unused hardware components which combine the best points of full graphic movements with the realism of object animation. Extra large full screen figure control. Unique transformation button lets the vampire change into a flying bat to escape a capture or death. And the special apparition button lets a vampire separate himself into a real controllable figure and a hologram-like image which can block the escape of other figures. So there were also like some uh, some screenshots of this that were like really really fuzzy, and so there were uh, there was a big legend like I guess built up or like people really wanted to play this game. People really really wanted to see this game. And this collector in Germany just happened to have a board of it. And I guess there was some drama about, like, he tried to dump the board himself, but he couldn't get all the ROMs dumped. And then he said he, he sold it to somebody else. And, like, everybody assumed, like, the, that guy wasn't going to going to dump the board. But, uh, lo and behold, it got dumped. And it is supported as of MAME 264, which just got released last week. So this is, like, hot off the presses. This has only been this has only been playable for like a week. You do have to grab the newest version of Mame if you want to try this out. Hot off the presses. And so, does this game live up to the hype? 
Uh, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Oh wow, Marble Madness Two got dumb. No shit. One scoop. And yeah, there was a there was a company called Brass International that was listed on the flyer, but there's no there's no mention of that in game. Instead, this was licensed to a company called Entertainment Enterprises Limited, which is a fucking fake ass company name if I've ever heard of it. But apparently, they made like one of those uh, those foosball like games, except it was like hockey, like you like turn the things and uh, control the hockey players. I think I've seen one of those, but. All right. Play Vampire. So look at the high score list and how it has like the, the score flashing. That's exactly what happened in Uncle Pooh. Vampire stalks the woman. Must capture six women before sunrise. Holy men and nuns are trying to destroy him. And he gets skeletonized. Skeletons in video games. Also, there's... There's holy water fountains that are just shooting water out. And he's he's got an ice clone. Vampire can drop shadow to block enemies. He's got an ice clone. It does actually function properly. When vampire touches a coffin, he can change to a bat. Avoid stake during flight. So yeah, this game's like a uh, a little problematic, as you know, you're playing as the bad guy, and all the good guys are trying to kill him. Also, that logo is not really on center, and that's pissing me off. All right, we know how to play the game. Let's get to it. 1983 eel. So here we go. Here's vampire. Uh, it's. It's isometric, and it's very slow. But as I discovered, you want to you want to get that coffin, and now we chase the ladies. Oh! You don't want to kill the holy men because every time you kill somebody, there's like a little timer at the top of the screen. You see that? When that fills up, the sun is out, and starts shooting bolts of light at you. And we know that kills vampires. So, uh oh, running out of energy. Oh god. Uh, uh. I think I got somebody. Nice. Round two. Boom, 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 boom. So it's too hard. I, I don't know how to get to the coffin on this stage. Is the game lagging? This is how the game works. It's this slow. This is the game's frame rate. Like every time you get to a woman, it just like freezes up. Like right now. That's not that's not me, that's not the stream, that's the game, just like not knowing what to do. Uh-oh. Uh uh. Uh also there's like a <laughs> there's a a random pixel behind him. Oh there's a coffin, nice. Alright. I'm gonna get ya. Oh god, flying stick! I see the stick. Ah, ah, ah. This embodied sticks. Nice. Hey, that's like the first time I've gone through that board without dying. And so now this turns into Donkey Kong, kind of. Except you can't jump. I like the the, the garlic falling. <laughs> Which does kill you. Uh-oh. Ice clone. Oh, that... He touched me? Ow. Oh. That didn't look like it touched me. Yeah, like garlic ball sack. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, can't get up the stairs! Okay. Nice back walk. Alright, we're gonna get the bride. Okay, so I'm gonna make a save state here. Congratulations, you have completed a evil round. Oh, hold on. Why is, why is MAME frozen? My hard drive uh, slowed down. Come on. Oh, I hit the wrong button. You have completed an evil round. What's my... There it is. Use joystick to position vampire to sink... So... 
If you don't press a button, he just does that. This is automatic. So you gotta go for the neck. <laughs> so, <laughs> if, if you miss, it's just like, uh, oh, I'm going for those titties. Oh, 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 sorry, miss. And then it just ends and goes to the next stage. <laughs> And so I think, like, most of the, uh, the graphic ROM data was used just to, like, draw this screen. Like, most of the game's file size was just to, to draw all the tiles for this because they, they really wanted to, to draw some, some boobage there. Yeah, this is just a WarioWare minigame. Nom. That booty be popping, too, though. Yeah. You're not wrong. Oh, God! Skeletonized. So I, I, I haven't been able to beat the default high score in this game. <laughs> this game's hard. Ice clone. Uh-oh. 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 Damn, they're good. Player one, game over. I didn't even get on the high scores. Cool music, though. Yeah, so does this game live up to the to what everybody was building this up for up to? What's the record for this? I don't know, the Mame Action Replay page actually is having a database problem right now. I can't even check scores, but nobody's uh nobody would have submitted a score there anyway because this game's only been emulated for like less than a week, so uh whatever you can get on this game, uh if anybody can beat the default high score, you might be the world record holder on, on Vampire. <laughs> Let's try that again. So this game is ambitious. I think that's the best way to put it. This game is very ambitious in what it's trying to do. But it doesn't perform very well, obviously. The way the game just freezes every time you you eat somebody. Like, they were probably supposed to, like, have more animation for that, right? They just kind of disappear. Like I said, they were they were very ambitious with the, the isometric perspective. And they were really proud of that, uh... Ah! Of that girl you can murder at the end. Uh, oh! Oh, no! I turned back! Uh-oh. Get to the coffin! What got me? Is that the holy water? Is it possible the 3 FPS is imperfect emulation? I doubt it. Like, this does feel like a game that just w like wasn't complete. Because, I mean... MAME thinks this is a prototype. It's possible like this game was like location tested and... You know, didn't, didn't make it out of location testing. Anyway, if you die and you have to like... If you've, like, eaten five women, you get to uh, just have to clear one for the stage. It does seem like there's patterns to this. In terms of, like, where to go. Yeah, the guy in Germany, like, posted videos of it running on, on his board, and... Yeah, it behaved, like, the same way. So, I'm pretty sure this is how it's supposed to be. Beep. Woom, woom, woom. Oh, the priests are throwing the stakes at me. Homing stakes. Okay. Although, interestingly, like, MAME does not list this as, as uh, Jack the Giant Killer hardware. It just says it's its own hardware. But it was probably a... Oh no! The garlic! Ow! Probably a variant of the Jack the Giant Killer hardware. <coughs> Damn. I guess there is some randomness with where the... Yeah, where, where the priests go here. Uh -oh. Damn it. Damn it! No! It's so hard to climb these stairs for some reason. Nice clone. Oh no, I can't sneak by. That ice clone's gonna go away. Okay. 
Get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away. Oh no, the garlic, the garlic. Okay. Damn, the garlic's, pl garlic's playing good defense. Alright. You have completed an evil round. Nom, 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 nom. Man, that booty do be popping. <laughs> okay, how do I get to the... <sighs> Try to sneak by. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to eat him. If you eat the, the priest, like, that counts as, like, part of, uh... Whoa, what the... What? Huh? Oh, it doesn't last as long on stage two. Also, that one nun just turned into a blonde girl. That was pretty good. Oh, man. They make this game really hard by stage two. Hey, I made it past 2-1. Uh, this, this is the, the farthest I've ever gotten. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to beat that default score, though. Ice clone. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. It felt like the uh, bat mode didn't last as long. Nom 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 nom. Oh, there's a nun there. I can't get over there. Ah, oh, shit. The coffin's down there. Oh, she turned in. I don't know why the nuns sometimes turn into the, uh, the innocents. I'll take it, though. Oh no! I'm stuck! Come on, get down the stairs! Okay. Beep! Alright, come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> they, they were off duty. What happens if you bite a nun? Uh, you can bite a nun when you're in bat mode. But it doesn't count as. Oh no, there's two garlic now! Oh man, gameplay. But it doesn't count as one of the women you have to kill, and it does like. Oh no! Uh, count as like, uh. Uh, progress towards the sun bar at the top, so you don't want to eat people you don't have to. That's, uh, those are hot strats. Okay, come on. Oh, God, ice clone. Ah, it's playing defense. Shit. No! Oh, sandwiched. Womp womp. Man, who, who knew vampires were this easy? Oh, I got an extra life! Shit! Extra life at 10,000, I guess. Nice! We in there. And he's a man-eater. Are you a man-eater too, Beavis? Ow! Oh! Yeah. I mean, no. Game over. Well, I got on the high scores. That's a new PB for me. <laughs> oh, oh, no! No! It went too many... Uh, okay, cock it is. There's no rub! How can you release a game with no rub? Tiny cock. <laughs> Shit. It's kind of a... It's kind of a mix of Donkey Kong there, except you can't jump. Like, the, uh, the button... The button only does, uh... Wait. There's a button 2 listed, but button 2 doesn't really do anything. So, I don't know. This, this game's ambitious, but... It, uh... I don't know if it's all that fun. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's kind of some... Kind of some method to the madness. It feels like there's, uh... There's sort of some patterns going uh, going on here with the stages. Um, did get harder in level two. There were double the garlic ball sacks. Oh, the ice clone denuns the nuns. Oh, I thought they got stuck just like the priests. Yeah, clip it. That was that was Kale that said this was worse than Monster Bash. I think it's. It's on roughly the same tier, I think. <laughs> it's it's about that bad. Either way, it's not great. 
but it is available for play in S of MAME 264, so if, uh, if you are interested in this, now's the time. Yeah, sorry, we did Uncle Pooh first game. <laughs> and now we gotta rank, uh, Vampire. Vampari. And then I have to, uh, catch up on some art, because there was a whole bunch of Uncle Pooh art. <laughs> so, drop your votes for, for Vampire right now. Monster Bash, you have Chameleon, man. My favorite monster. So, like, I, I kind of respect, like, what this game is trying to do. It's just very, uh... Uh... <laughs> there was no way it was going to live up to what they wanted to do. It runs like shit. <laughs> it just slows down every time you, you kill somebody. On the other hand, you do get the <laughs> that uh, that bonus screen's pretty good. Well, uh, looks like sixty-two percent gave it a two. I can see this being a one. Oop, wrong, wrong thing. Yeah, no jokers gave it a five. What the heck? It's just, um... Yeah, it's just... It's not a very fun game. <laughs> also, I think I accidentally minimized the window and the, the screen was stuck. Um... Yeah, I, I respect what it's trying to do. I'm glad this was dumped. I'm glad this is preserved now, because this is a uh, an ambitious attempt for 1983, but uh, it was just just not all there. But I think I think two's fair. Obviously needed some tweaks. It does have evil rounds. That's pretty cool. But. I feel like I've played worse. I'm sorry, Kale. I, I, I don't think this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but... I think there's kind of some kind of some method to the madness. I would expect somebody to, to put up, like, a... a real monster score if they, if they learn the patterns. But we are still, still early in this game's life cycle for, uh, for it being like playable. All right, hold on. I'm catching up on a lot of art here. <laughs> Man. Okay. I don't know if I can get this all on one uh, on one screen, but I will I will do my best. Uh, let me get the uh, ambiance back up. Yeah, it it does kind of make me wonder if the game's marathonable, but like I said, I haven't seen past level two. I'm sure on level three, there's like three garlic ball sacks falling from the ceiling. That's gonna be really hard to manage. All right, first of all, make sure I have this all saved. Yep. Thank you, Ultra64, for, uh... <laughs> Damn, you can see his butt cheeks. What did Bongo and a dinosaur get into this time? Thank you, Ultra64. Thank you, Clip It, for, uh... 
Uh. <laughs> yep, Uncle Pooh. It's the game of the stream, you know. Thank you, Clip It. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Thank you, Arctangent X, for uh, ZZT Uncle Pooh. He even got his teeth and everything. Yeah, I'm glad I could give everybody a heads up to to start on the Uncle Pooh stuff. <laughs> No mysteries on what I'm playing tonight. Oh yeah, there's a gradient on the poo. That's good. <laughs> and of course, here's the uh, here's the cabinet art for for Uncle Poo. <laughs> oh, Chubo. He's got the Pac-Man eyes and everything. Oh yeah, that that happened at Magfest. I remember that. <laughs> Thank you, Chew. <laughs> uh, one more Uncle Pooh piece. Thank you, Joey Gator Man. Oh, that's big. Well, this is a stink up. <laughs> yeah, I can't get this all on one screen. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Don't move or the ass will blast. Uh, and we got uh, got a couple of vampire pieces. I know, I should have checked for Uncle Pooh art when I was playing Uncle Pooh. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Thank you, Jerry Aris, for the, uh... For the Deep Simpsons cut. Don't set the machine to evil. I forgot to check the dip switches. I didn't even realize uh, you get an extra life at, at 10,000 in that game. And thank you once again, Ultra Sixty Four, for uh... <laughs> man, this this poor vampire. Who knew vampires were such wusses? They fucking they they died of fucking nothing in this game. Spank me. One little ray of sunlight, man. One little drop of holy water, dead. Green Heron, thank you for the 100 bits. Anyway, thank you, uh, thank you, Ultra64. Thank you, uh, thank you, Jerry Aris. Thank you, Joey Gator, man. Thank you, Chubo. Arctangent X. And clip it. Yeah, who knew killing vampires was, was that easy? Simon Belmont was, was struggling on these streets. Anyway, we got one more, uh... We got one more game that might have been developed by Horror Industries. It's not, it's not as unhinged as Vampire or uh, uh, Uncle Pooh, unfortunately. But we might as well. Also, not not quite as fake, I think. Like this is almost like a, an actual game. But we gotta we gotta we gotta strike while the iron's hot, right? Again, we don't have any uh, we don't have any flyer art for this game. Uh, it's called Joinem. Licensed to Global Corporation. Now that's a fake ass company name. Okay, that's that's the fake part. Global Corporation, my ass. So again, it's another game with no flyer, no cabinet art. Uh, no idea where it was released. If it actually got a wide release, um, yeah, <laughs> not really much else to say about it. <laughs> so 
It's it's not quite uh, like I said, not quite as unhinged as some of the uh, the first couple games, but but it does run on Jack the Giant Killer hardware, so I believe the the Hara Industries uh, link is still there. Same startup, kind of. Play, join them. Insert coin, one coin, one play. That's what it said on Uncle Pooh. The screen scrolls the same way. So the way this game works is that you're controlling all of the all those red guys you see on the screen. You control all of them at once, and you gotta like get them together, and they become bigger. And so you need to make them as big as possible so you can kill the uh, the other dudes. When they're bigger, they like they run a little bit faster. Bonus life every every thirty thousand, just like Uncle Pooh. And then everybody else turns into corn cobs, and you can eat them up. So yeah, this is kind of a game. Global corporation, though. And look, same high score screen. That's the same high score screen as Uncle Pooh. Am I uh, am I selling you on the the Hara Industries link yet? <laughs> ah, that was loud. Let's join him. Not let's Uncle Pooh, but let's join him. Same noises. All right. Uh, oh, I don't have controls. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Where? Oh, I'm on the wrong version of Mame. That would explain it. I gotta go back to my other version. Yeah, why didn't Vampire say, let's Vampire? Alright. Alright, let's try to get some of these. Oh, no. So you'll hear a noise, like, if you're in, like, one of the monster's line of sight, I guess. Ah! You got one! Alright, if I can just get that guy over there. Alright. There we go. Blum, blum. Blum, blum. Alright. Some very Uncle Pooh sounding music, don't you think? Alright. There's a lot. I'll have to keep track of in this game. Out of there, buddy. Okay. So yeah, there's there's, there's kind of something to this. Oh, I'm big. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Shit. I missed my turn. Coming for that ass. Nom, nom, nom. You got me big now. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Oh god. Okay. Come on, get down here. Oh no, we got one. Although, like, I guess you can still clear the stage with four. Also, I guess you don't want the uh, you don't want the enemies to be too close to the edge since they try to run away. Oh yeah, the enemies are happy when they kill you. Yeah, that's that happened in Uncle Pooh also. Ooh, oh, this stage. Okay. I didn't really play this game very much before uh, uh, off stream. Oh god. Oh no, I think I'm dead. I don't think there's any coming back from this. I don't know how many you can have get eaten and still, like, survive. Uh... Oh god. I shouldn't be running away from this guy. Okay. No. No. 
No! Running for his damn life. Oh, God. I think I'm... I'm done for. Very, very similar to the Uncle... Uncle Pooh death music. This stage is tough. Here, boys. I'll save you. Keep running. I'll get you. Oh, no. Not that way. Ah, I got one. Okay. Alright. That wasn't very good, but whatever. I survived, at least. That high score looks pretty high. <laughs> smart enough to play this game. This is a lot to keep track of. Ah! Okay, they touched. Come to me, my precious. able to eat five on one screen. I assume it goes up to like 3200, right? Damn it. They all got away. Four hundred fifty-three thousand. Damn. That's a lot of joining. Uh -oh. This game doesn't have bonus stages or anything, so... Maybe, maybe there's some patterns to it. Okay. Hmm. Alright, if I can just get those, those two combined, that little guy's dead. Oh god. Um, okay. Oh god, they're so fast! I fell down. I don't know if I'm getting past the stage. <laughs> Alright, I need to get those, those two joined up. Let's join them. Oh, come on! Oh, wait. Oh, I got him. Oh! 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 That's the strat! Aha! Oh, but you can't stay that way forever. Aha! Why didn't anybody share the... the... the, the join them tech? That's where you get points from. Okay. Get him up to, to four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I fucked up. I fucked up! Not like this. Oh, I didn't see it. Shit. Okay, so I can still... I guess I can still win? Attack was in the demo. Ah, oh, that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> Damn, a demo that actually shows you what to do? How rare. Yeah, people are gonna have my ass in the YouTube comments for this one. Ah, oh, this is getting so hard. You only need three to survive the stage, so... Oh, 
that's too early. Nice. Didn't give me the extra. I think I already had an extra life. Oh, this stage looks like some garbage. Uh, okay. You guys come down here. I died twice? I thought the extra life was already there, though. Oh, okay. That's what happens with three. Okay. Blum, blum. Alright. Well, for a game I said I was going to be very bad at, this credit's actually lasting, like, a decent amount of time. I just haven't beaten the default score yet. The default score's a little high. Oh, God. I didn't see him. Okay. Alright, we just need to... Uh... Uh, how am I gonna do this? Come on, buddy. No! No. I got 500 for dying. That's kind of funny. Yeah, if I'd been farming bonus points in the early stages, I, I would have beaten it by now, huh? Nah, that's on me for not being a join em lore master, I guess. Ah, okay, fine, whatever. You fucker. Wait. But you can eat them at three. Okay, so you need four to actually play the stage. <laughs> hey, it's the same it's the same initial screen as the last two games. If I'd been getting those point bonuses, yeah, maybe I could have done it. But yeah, that felt like a that felt like a long credit. <laughs> I don't know. This game is this game's complicated. <laughs> okay, so you do need four to actually clear the stage, but like when you're when you have three, you can start eating them, though? That's what, that's what confused me. You just can't let the fourth one die. Yeah, there it is in the demo. I should have been paying attention. <laughs> uh, that's on me. Although they didn't, they didn't get the prize in the middle. Well, yeah, it's actually a a competent demo. Some of these arcade games just die in like three seconds, so. Is this game better than Uncle Pooh, though? <laughs> Man, we gotta do a poll. All right, cast your votes now. People seem to be uh, fairly impressed with this. I'm not sure how fun I actually find it, though. It's an interesting concept, though. Twitch is suppressing your vote? How's it suppressing it? It does have character. The, uh... 
The little scrimblows, they uh, they laugh at you <laughs> when they eat you. As seen in the, in the hit 1983 arcade game, Uncle Pooh. Oh, it's broken on mobile. Um, shit. How have they not fixed that yet? Oh, fuck. I accidentally... I was trying to click the result. Okay, wait, no, there they are. I, I closed it on my end, and... Okay, it shows up on, on Twitch. Good. Or on OBS, I mean. Uh, 68% gave... I didn't fucking remove the other things. God damn it. Uh, 68% gave it a 3. Handful of, uh... Handful of 2s, handful of 4s. 1-1. One, one. I, I wouldn't even give this a 1. Come on. No, uh, no 5 jokers. Yeah, we need those level 100 hype trains. Uh, I admire the concept. I don't know... I don't know if I find it all that fun. But people can people can appa can apparently marathon it so or not marathon it but get like four hundred fifty thousand. If you do if you are getting extra lives every thirty thousand then yeah that's uh, that helps a lot. If I give this a two though that's like the same level as vampire, <laughs> but it's like a different kind of two. Yoko wins. <laughs> Liar exaggerate. Hey thank you for the for the fifty one bongos. All right, fine. Get peer pressured, pussy. Ah, I got peer pressured again. Wow, what a weird alert. You're not subbed to this channel today, so you don't see that alert. It's like I said, I. I, I, I it, it's kind of doing something different. I guess three's okay. It does have some character. But still probably not for me. Okay, I just saw, I just saw Chibo's art. <laughs> Hold on, we got a, we got a vampire art. Oh yeah. I love the the Flanders priest. Is that pink? <laughs> Oh man, that's that is awesome. That should have been the uh, the side art on the cabinet. Thank you, Chubo. And we got the happy sun too. <laughs> Excellent. I approve. Okay. Well, that is it for uh, for Hara Industries. So we're gonna we're gonna jump straight to a straight to a fucking inscrutable idiot game. Um, not many people know how to how to fucking play this game. <laughs> I think there was one replay on Marp that got like a a really big score on this, but I can't. I don't think I downloaded it, and now the database is down on that site, so I can't get it. But, um... Um... Uh, yeah, this is a game for aliens. It's another game that, uh, once again, no cabinet art, no flyer. Um... Seems like it might have only been sold in Japan, maybe? But don't, uh... Don't hold me to that. I'm talking, of course, about, uh, everybody's favorite. Number Crash. 
by Hanshin Goraku. Penny. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Is this an idiot game? I feel like you need a really big fucking IQ to play this game. Um. This is. Uh. Well, I watched a replay that, that finished one level. So I... I have an idea on how you're supposed to clear a level. But, like... Uh... <laughs> well, you'll see. This game is inscrutable. Alright, let me get back to the... Yeah, 1983.6. I guess it's Slash Penny. This runs on Pac-Man hardware, by the way. Number crash. No coins, no credit. Bonus player zero. What the? What the heck is going on here? There's no coin credit. Can we get some help? One. One. Can we get another one? Oh, we got a third one. Nope. Here he comes, here comes. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. And then he just kicked the logo away. Well, um, let's just put in a credit. Thank you! One player push start. This machine is only one player. Well, the game is thanking me before I even, like, credit it up, so that's cool. Excellent walk cycle? Oh, just you wait. Alright. <laughs> so, there's a lot going on here. Um, you only have one button in this game. And when you're neutral, you kick the letter, or kick the numbers. Uh-oh. And you can kill the enemies by hitting them with numbers. If you press direction plus button, you jump. And there's a little meter on the side there, which determines how far you kick everything, so you have to be paying attention to that, too. So where the number crash comes in is, if I kick a, a number down here, uh, that happens. Oh, what? <laughs> you can't get down there. And so you get bonuses if you, like, make certain combinations of numbers or some shit. Um, yeah. So the goal here is to get all the numbers to the bottom. If I touch the heart, everybody becomes, like, invulnerable for a second. Or, I become invulnerable. Whatever. <clears throat> so you have to be, constantly be watching that meter on the left just to, like, kick stuff. Because kick and jump are the same button. Fuck. Uh, can I? Oh, there we go. Nine two six nine. No, oh, take that. Oh. Ah. Okay, let me jump over. I'm just trying to get the numbers to the bottom. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do. Yeah, this may be the most fascinating one bongo game. There's no way this is not going to be one bongo. Whoa, you can... Oh, you can wrap around, okay. I didn't know that. I'm just trying to get the numbers to the bottom, goddammit. Okay. Oh, the floating 300s turned into enemies, by the way. Take that. You're so confused. Seems pretty self-explanatory to me. This seems like a perfectly good game for normal people. It is kind of a jam, especially for Pac-Man hardware, right? Alright, well, I... I wrote 663185 down there. Is that anything? I don't think that's anything. Hmm. 
so hard to kick these things because of this fucking meter. Uh. Oh god, oh god. Ow. <laughs> Good death animation. Yeah, there's probably a, a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bonus. There's like a, a 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 bonus, I think. Um, it tells you the bonuses when you clear a stage. Presumi oh god. Presumably they were like written on the cabinet. Oh. Should probably get those hearts. Uh oh, uh oh. Help you up, enemy. Shit. No! No! Oh! I landed on a heart, though. Not the math bat. Wait, they're so frozen. Kick this piece of shit. Ow! Ah, okay. Try that again. Huh? The music stopped. We're in serious mode time. Yoko wins? <laughs> Hydragon, thank you for the for the 49 months. I did it! I cleared a stage! I cleared one stage of this game. Dix37185. So if you write 998877665565, you get. Time bonus. Cool. Cool. Oh, we got new music too. This is a jam! Why is this a jam? <laughs> Wait, there's fall damage?! I was just trying to kick the number. Letters, rub end. Yeah, I didn't beat non P. That's the default score. Man, I wanted to hear the rest of that song. Oh, it's a different demo. Oh, maybe that's what's supposed to happen the first time, but it didn't on, on first startup. The numbers just appeared on their own. Thank you. Okay, so 9-9... Nine, nine, how, the, how the fuck is anybody going to kick the numbers like the right distance in? Ah, that's good. This game is fucking impossible. This game was made, like, just for the programmer. They thought this would be fun. Is there, like, a, uh... Skipper rack? There is a skipper rack. Nice. Oh, it just gives you the bonus instantly. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, look at that. Damn, he's good. Ooh, big money. Ow! Ow! Somebody just blew a whistle in my ear. Okay. Alright, well, now that I know there's... Wait, what? What? No, I didn't want to... 
Yeah. I just want to hear this music. You gotta be standing in just the right place to kick these things. It's just so hard to fucking kick these things with the whole meter thing. <laughs> what does this do? Nothing? Oh. I'm just trying to kick the numbers. It's so hard to fucking kick numbers, man. Fall damage! Get up to the platform. Hold on, rack test. No. There's a fall from any height cheat. They knew. Alright, I'm just gonna lower the volume. This is a two because it's too weird to be a one. It's fascinating, but. Oh no, I didn't wanna. Oh, I didn't. Ah, I wanted to see that stage. Hold on, let me reset. Maybe I can, uh, let's do this. Oh, finish current round with start button. I like that. Let's do that. So I get for playing the hater shack way. And I have no bonus. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is the same music. It's a new maze, though. Huh. Oh. 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 <laughs> I love that death animation. It's still a banger. Oh, this, this level sucks, though. I'm not, I'm not pressing anything. I just jump. Oh, you can't go that way. Oh, I'm dead. Cool. It's a, it's a one-way road, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's see the next stage. Oop. I just died. What? The oh, the ladder goes through. That's stupid. Uh, I can't kick these. There we go. No. Nope. I can survive that jump at least. So there's only one ladder in the middle here. That's a problem. And you can't even kick the numbers into them when when, when you have the heart. That's stupid. Uh-oh. Okay. This game's control scheme is not set up for this much jumping. <laughs> Just say that much. Uh-oh. And you want me to kick numbers out, like, in exact order? Yeah, right. Need I remind you, kick and jump are the same button. What, that doesn't count? I can't kick this number. Oh. Oh good, they're speeding up. No nope, kick. Oh my god. Nothing works- Ah! Nothing works the way you want it to in this game. one-way road. I can't go- uh, Oh my god, I couldn't go up the ladder. <laughs> the num- Wait, the number's blocking me! Oh, there we go.
Oh, and the math bat's out? Oh my god. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> Alright, well, that, that's Number Crash. <laughs> A video game that allegedly exists. Oh, wait, wait! Oh, that's right, you can uh, go down that ladder. That makes sense. Wait, no, you can't? That guy can climb up the ladder and kill you where you spawn, but you can't go down the ladder. I... don't understand. What does the next stage look like? At least there's two ladders there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh... I don't know. Some people are, are fascinated by this, but uh, all I can say that playing this game doesn't feel good. <laughs> it feels really bad, man. This, ga this game was programmed for, like, one person. Maybe two. Only one person's brain was was tuned tuned just just right to well. Why is that guy stuck on the screen? <laughs> why are, why are these things there? Why can you draw boxes? Cool. Anyway, <laughs> that's Number Crash. <laughs> Allegedly a game. I don't know, maybe maybe somebody will see this and be like, yeah, this is... This is the game I've been looking for. I always wanted to play as a dude with a really weird run cycle. Kicking numbers to the ground in a very specific manner. Game of my dreams. I mean, the music's good. I'll give it that. The music was good. But this is such a this is such a fake game. <laughs> I don't think they changed the rules about fall damage. It's just there weren't many. I guess you could still. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Did it again. Uh, we have a tie. This is why every vote counts, people. Um... Yoko. Wins. Okay, well, two people gave it a four. One person gave it a... Some joker gave it a five. And nobody gave it a three, so... Um, <laughs> there he goes. Snow Sultan, thank you for the, uh, for the 39 months. <laughs> thank you for the resub. You have to give it a 5 as a tie? That's what happens in Number Crash? Damn. I mean, usually this gets written down in the spreadsheet as, like, 1.5 because, because of the tie. This is not the first time we've had a tie. Um... Well... We'll mark it down as... as 1.5. This does... 1.5 averages up to a 2. But you know what? I'm giving this a 1. <laughs> I like the music, but this is just fucking... This is so dreadful to play. This is like like just just try it in Mame. Just uh, I dare you. Load this up in Mame and see how well you can you can grasp the concept of kick and jump being the same button. See if you clear one stage. I'm I'm very proud of you if you do. Yeah, this was version 1.0 of it. <laughs> you think it ever got a patch? Oh, man. Yeah, 
May maybe there's something to it with the concept, but like, just like the execution is just so. <laughs> it just doesn't work, man. It just doesn't work. Number crash. All right. Yeah, Vertex Dan. That was the. Uh... Dan's got some some ridiculous scores. And I think that score was, like, fairly recent, too. Like, he just woke up, like, a few years ago and was like, I want to put up 500,000 on Number Crash. As you do. Okay. It was a jam, though. <laughs> Gotta rip that soundtrack. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's let's play this. No flyer, no cabinet art. No sign of where this game was released. Another idiot game. All we have is a title screen. Time limit. So, uh, Uncle Pooh was a maze game. Uh, Join Him was a maze game. Vampire was like an isometric style maze game that turned into Donkey Kong. Number Crash is like Donkey Kong inspired ish. So what type of game is Time Limit? If you haven't uh, if you haven't seen this game before, how do you think Time Limit is going to play? Yeah, Chuo Company Limited, I think they were the developers of, of Funny Mouse. Twin Stick Shooter, Pac-Man. Racing game, that's a good guess. Puzzle. <laughs> Quiz game, yeah, yeah, maybe. That would make sense. A fighting game? <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that, uh, the title screen doesn't help much at all. So... For the longest time in, in, in MAME, this game ran way too fast and was, like, <laughs> damn near unplayable. Um, it got fixed, like, a few years back, so it is actually playable now. If you load this up in MAME and it's running too fast, then update your shit. Time limit. Police. Gang. Guess what? It's it's an elevator action like, kind of. <laughs> Although elevator action was 1983, also, so I think one source like said this came out in 1984, but it has a 1983 copyright. So look at this fake ass fucking game. Oh, good demo. He just died right away. All right, so the object of this game is to find a... There's a bomb planet on every level, and you only have, like, one minute to find it. And there's gangs and killers uh, running amok. Got all that? Get in the blombie police car. All right, I am the policeman. Ride the elevator. Oh, gotta get off. Also, his crouching sprite is, uh... Oh, can't even see. Oh, god. Oh, my god! How did that miss? <laughs> yeah, that elevator is quick. Okay. Yeah, look at his, uh, his crouching sprite. And when he fire, he, like... <laughs> He's sort of firing shots out of his ass like Uncle Pooh. Okay. I think I'm supposed to go this way. I learned how to clear one level of this. I think. Oh, there's a killer. And that's a gang. Ah! You can only have one shot on screen at a time, by the way. Chubo gonna love this? I'm pretty sure Chubo streamed this. <laughs> when Chubo was playing idiot games in MAME, I'm like 99% sure he played this. Oh, I missed one. 
Ah! Ow! Oh. He went to heaven. <laughs> well, that was a good credit. Let's try that again. I feel very satisfied about the 25 cents I put into the time limit cabinet. Okay, no. I definitely cleared a stage of this. Like, your first instinct is to go up, right? No, you're supposed to go this way. <laughs> okay, wait. I think I'm supposed to go down. Oh, that's a bomb! I didn't ask for a bomb, Billy. Okay, watch, watch out for the wrecking ball. Oh, bonk! I thought it was going up. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. His his legs are just detaching in in midair too. They have halos coming out when they die too. Why are the criminals going to heaven? That doesn't make sense. There we go. Yeah. I cleared one stage of time limit. <laughs> He's just moving the, the bomb out the building and everybody gave up. Oh shit, bonus stage. Uh, this one. Well. You don't die for that, thankfully. Yeah, that was the Kid Icarus bonus stage. Except with multiple bombs. Alright, so I think this time the, the bomb's, like, slightly higher up. I did watch a replay. <laughs> the building doesn't really change, but where they put the bomb changes. Uh. Hey, I got an extra life. Nice. <laughs> what? The bullet disappeared. Don't tell me the bullet disappears, but it's still active on the screen. <laughs> no, I don't think you can duck on the stairs. Okay. Yeah, you're just like completely motionless on the stairs. The blog of the developer of Number Crash. Oh, shit. He's still around? Of course he would be. Okay, what, what do I fucking do here? No! Ah! Okay. Maybe I gotta do this. Maybe this is... What? Why, why did I fall through the floor? <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I tried to press right. Why did he go to the left? <laughs> go to the L windows. Number Crash was very popular at the time. Citation needed. Okay, I didn't release Crouch there. I just died. That shot is just unblockable. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... If he made other games, man. I gotta see how those play. How unscrutable could Cup Cup be? Okay. 
But yeah, the bomb's always in the same place. So you just kind of memorize where it is. Oh my god. <laughs> it's got self-confidence, sure. There's self-confidence, but there's also delusion. I don't know, man. Even in 1983, I don't... Anybody who put a credit in a number crash would be like, what the fuck is this? Oh god, bouncy balls! Why are there bouncy balls in the building? Where's the bomb? Didn't ask for a bomb, Billy. Ow! Ran me over. I thought the bomb was over on that side, but like a little higher up. There's no, like, radar that tells you if you're close to the bomb or not. <laughs> and they expect you to do this shit within a minute while you're... you're dealing with fucked up hitboxes. And this dude's fat ass in the air all the time. Oh, it was just there again? I thought it was, like, somewhere else. Alright. Try this one. <laughs> You're supposed to get like five, five bonus letters in that screen. I haven't gotten a single one. Well, I know uh, the first one's always in the same place. Maybe it's random after that. I don't know. It's more bouncy balls now. I need this guy to come down. There we go. Yeah, it's not there this time. Okay, I'm I'm running out of time. There is a time limit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time up. You don't even see it explode or anything? Weak. Alright, uh, let's go up this time. Oh yay, up to jump! I forgot there was a jump button in this game. It's up to jump. Like every civilized Amiga game. Uh, that's time limit! <laughs> yeah, to clear a stage in Number Crash, you just kick all the numbers to the bottom. That's all you have to do. That's all. <laughs> yeah, the cop shouldn't be going to heaven when he dies. Fake game. Uh, yeah, this game... I like the idea of, like, the bomb being in a random spot and you have to find it, but the problem is... The time limit's too short. And, like, it doesn't really give you any hints as to where it is. And just, like, everything everything looks the same. Also, the game plays like shit anyway. <laughs> you can only have one bullet on screen. Uh, enemies keep killing me with bullets that, like, disappear. Um, can't say I'm a fan of this one. Did it? And yeah, there's, there's a lot of enemies going to heaven. Or a lot of people going to... A lot of people and creatures going to heaven in this game. 
Uncle Pooh was sending the animals to heaven? This dude goes to heaven. The criminals are going to heaven too, maybe? Yeah, it, it makes more sense than Number Crash. <laughs> you can say that. Uh... It has some ideas I like, but oh man, ugh, 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 ugh. All right, eighty percent gave it a one. I thought, yeah, I kind of thought there were gonna be more twos. We didn't even have a five joker. That's like a, a pretty even eighty twenty split. Nah, y'all right. It's, it's a one bong again. <laughs> it's man. I mean, this this certainly feels like you know it was it was inspired by Elevator Action. Like, there's no way this game came out before Elevator Action, right? And it does not do things better than Elevator Action. I like the idea of having to find a bomb in a stage, but they they made the the titular time limit a little too short. It does have a guy putting his ass up in the air when he crouches, and that's pretty good. But I don't know if that's enough to to save it. Maybe if you really like seeing cops put their fat asses in the air. Can't say I do, though. <laughs> Was this game inspired by Uncle Pooh? <laughs> what a... Uh, that'd be a nice twist of fate. All right, uh, got some more art. Give me one second. The annoying thing is, like, I had that when I was like, uh, uh, you know checking things out in, in MAME, like, beforehand, like, off-stream. Like, I loaded this up a couple days ago, and now that that music's just been stuck in my head. <laughs> All the time now. Did it. Did it, 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 it. Did it, 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 Maybe I should have given it a two, since it, it sticks with me. Nah. Anyway. Um... Where'd go? I'm in the wrong directory. What was the name of that game? Oh yeah, join him. Uh, thank you, Clip It. I'm not owned, I'm not owned. I say shrink into a corn cob. <laughs> exactly the reference I was going for. Are we comparing to an early 1980? Well, Elevator Action was also 1983. Wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Pretty sure that's when it got released, anyway. But the poll's over, so there were there were plenty of uh, plenty of one votes, anyway. Uh, thank you, Big Bear's Cave, for also some joy to mark. Funny little guys. And scary guys. What did I just drag? Thank you for that. And thank you, Chubo. For... <laughs> for... <laughs> there he is. John Number Crash. Spelling boobies. <laughs> Excellent. If I wanted to do math, I'd go to school. 
Thank you, Chubo. Thank you, Big Bear. Thank you, Clip It. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do funny things with that calculator. All right. Um, what was I going? Oh yeah. This is like almost a game. Maybe this isn't the fakest, the fakest of games, but I have to, I have to question the uh, the company that released it because they didn't. Uh, as far as I know of, they didn't release anything else. <laughs> this is a uh, a one non-hit wonder. But we actually have a flyer for this. They actually uh, uh, they actually advertised this in issues of Play Me in at least one issue of Play Meter magazine. I was looking through a couple issues of that and I. Saw they had an ad for it, so they they took out advertising for this game. This company called Mama Top released a game called Birdie with a Y. Birdie. The Mama developed by a company called Mama Top. <laughs> All right. Uh. <laughs> this game is kind of kind of fucked up. Against clever monster rats. How many chickens can you bring up? Mom, I became hungry. Manage Birdie Mama with four-way lever. This is on Pac-Man hardware, by the way. And catch a caterpillar on a leaf and an earthworm under the ground and then feed her chicken. Monster rats move ceaselessly, aiming at chickens. When you keep to pressing the... Pressing the blah, 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 blah. When you keep to pushing the button, Birdie Mama is able to make attack and pecks at the rats. In this case, you get 150 extra points. Birdie... Oh, let's get that. If you follow the strategy, it makes the game more exciting and easier to get the highest scores. Feed. When feed turns on and off on the center of the screen, Birdie Mama has to hasten to feed her chicken. Otherwise, the chicken will be starved to death. Holy shit. <laughs> this game is fucked up. Uh, from stage three, a skunk appears. One more chicken at 10,000 points. This game has four different structures, and you can enjoy up to 100 stages. Is there a kill screen at stage 100? If chickens are eaten up, game is over. Birdie is priced at US 360, and over 10 piece boards at one time for US 340. Moreover, over 20 piece boards at one time 320. They want you to buy Birdie in bulk. But I have to I have to wonder like how many <laughs> how many US companies like actually bought bought birdie boards. I mean 360's like, you know, cheaper than a new cabinet. And I think they were aiming for uh, uh, people to like convert their, their Pac-Man cabinets or something. Cause you know, Pac-Man, that game's not making money anymore. Nobody's gonna remember Pac-Man. That game is dead. Birdie's the new hotness, right? Mama Top's the company of the future. Get out of here, Namco. Alright. <laughs> yeah, they put the bank account info on the flyer. Mama Top. It is a good name for a company, I'll give it that. Bonk. Oh. Bird eye mama. Baby bird. Monster rat A. Monster rat B. Caterpillar. Earthworm. Nice color cycling on the title. Look at this fucking game. <laughs> does this look fake? Kinda does. Mama top. 1983. No, the 360 is just the board. And presumably like a marquee and bezel and control panel and all that. So yeah, just take the caterpillars, take the earthworms to uh to the baby birds. Gets more expensive. They're still it's still cheaper than than buying a new uh a new cabinet. Those usually went for way more. 
Man, the demo is actually doing better in this game than I was <laughs> when I tried this. Although the monsters are just going all the way up, they would usually go to like that branch in the middle. I don't know what, what the fuck they're doing. Alright, let's see. Additional chicken at 10,000 points. Alright, birdie. Birdie mama. Wait, my... Hold on a sec. Is it start button? No, I have a... I thought there was like a speed up button. Okay, it just speeds up when you're near the rats. Okay. Rah. Okay, don't let them climb all the way up. Get his ass! Yeah, I got him! No, 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 you stay away. No, no. Bomba, level up. Yeah, I don't know, the game keeps calling them chickens. Ooga booga booga! Ooga booga booga! Ooga booga booga! Okay, I can't fuck around or else uh, Feed! The baby will starve to death. Ooga booga 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 booga! How did I... How did I own up that one? I guess I knocked it off the... Oh god, feed, feed! Oh, no, 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 no! Got him. Oh, there we go. Feed, feed, feed. Earthworm started flashing at some point. Oh, got him. Got his ass. Oh, God. Feed. Feed. Ah. Hey, I cleared the stage. Alright, maybe we should go for the earthworms first. Looks like the game sped up a little bit, huh? Hey, hey, no, no. The baby becomes the next mama, except you don't have, like, extra lives. Mama Top 1983. I love it when games remind you of the company and the year at all times. Hey, hey, get off that. They will fucking jump off that branch. Nope. Feed, feed, feed. Oh. Baby got eaten. <laughs> this game is brutal. Oh no, 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 no! Okay. Get your ass out of here. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta see the skunk. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, come on! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! No, no, no! Okay. Man, and I gotta get the earthworms? Fuck. Stage 2 in this game is already unreasonable. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Hey, it actually has a high score list. MTP. You end. I should have just left it as you. I gotta see the skunk. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Mama Top. Everybody's favorite company, Mama Top. <laughs> That's not happening until it's the Galloping Ghost Game of the Week, Mortis. I didn't even get a free life, Jesus. It looks like Bindy. Oh, gotta stay there for a while, okay. It does take a while to clear these levels, huh? Get his ass. Uh, the button, like, speeds up when you're near the monsters, but it doesn't speed up otherwise. So you can, like, you can scare them off. No! Do I have a... It's Pac-Man hardware. Oops. Oh, I thought we'd have a rack test. Dang. Feed, feed, feed! Yeah, Pac-Man hardware usually had a dip switch that, like, you press it down and it automatically clears the stage, but... Uh-oh, did I, did I fuck up the high scores when I reset? Such a long-ass demo. Okay. There was skip screen? Oh, yeah, okay. Oop, uh... Oh, there we go. Beware of skunk spray. <laughs> Dead. Excellent. Oh damn, he's hauling ass. <coughs> Actually, everybody's hauling ass. This game gets gets fast. How the fuck are you even gonna get the earthworms? Okay. No. Oh my god, they're so fast. This game gets difficult quickly. What the fuck, Mama Top? Ow! Yeah. Got his ass. They don't even get stunned for very long, Jesus. No, no, no! Oh my god! Game. This is hard as shit. Also, the skunk doesn't, like, if it goes to the left, it doesn't come out from the left. Oh my god. The left again. It's just random. Get his ass. Nothing if not persistent. Ugh. <laughs> and get it. Don't you fucking dare. Hey. Okay, I'm curious what happens to the, uh, uh, the little chickens at the bottom. Wait, I thought I, I thought I turned it on. I turned it on, why did that not, uh, end the stage? Why is the stage still going? You. Hmm, weird.
Well, didn't see anything about there being like another enemy type after the skunk, so maybe that was it. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this game this game gets difficult really, really quickly. Getting some real Persona 3 vibes from this game. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of something to this, but, like... It's just rough. <laughs> like, it, it speeds up, like, way too quick. Wait. Oh, now the... Now the fucking wins. Now the fucking demos. Or the skip modes on. Uh, Shike, hey, thank you for the, uh, for the 12 months. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the... The bongo birthday. Yeah, it, it does get a little boring. Some real bird week vibes from this game. Huh, I think you're the first one to point that out. Alright, well... It's more playable than stuff like, uh, Time Limit, but... <laughs> Is it fun, though? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be right back. It's a very stressful 59. game and <sighs> Hey, that's the one non Ryoko one on there. Dodecalope! Thank you for the 69 months. I didn't think anybody was gonna hit that today. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Uh uh. -oh. The scam train's active. It the uh, okay. I couldn't see where my pole went. Thank God for the plug-in. Um, yeah, 70% gave it a 2. That sounds about right. It's not unplayable. Thank you very much. Thank you, Orange Right, for the 70 bits. Uh, yeah, okay, I can agree with that. It just it gets, it gets way too difficult way too fast. <laughs> And it's kind of horrifying when you... Actually, I wanted to see, uh... Uh... I want to see what happens... Do I want to see what happens when, uh... You, when the baby starves to death? Spank me. Do I dare? Asai-chan, hey, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> it felt like the enemy sped up when it was saying feed. And then they just... Killed it way faster. Prince Hordkin, thank you for the for the two hundred birds. Okay, I'm just gonna stay right here. <laughs> Let this poor baby starve to death. Oh, I'm a horrible mama. This is not what Mama Top wanted. Feed, feed, feed. This baby needs to eat every fifteen seconds or it dies. Time out. Puff. Dead. <laughs> it falls to the ground. Damn. <laughs> okay. Me. Damn. Mama Top, you're you're twisted. You're fucked up. <laughs> Thank you, Yerg, for the water. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? This is supposed to be a... Yeah, this is supposed to be like a cute... Mama bird feeding her babies game, and... It fucking starves to death because it didn't get food within 15 seconds. Sheesh. 
<laughs> Change your vote. All sales are final. Oh, wait, there, there were no sales. Jeez. Okay. Um, let's see here. Fake games, fake games. Yeah, this game's kind of fake. Kind of. We do have a flyer for this. I believe this company got mentioned earlier. Uh, they're another company that... Uh, uh, another company that excelled in in focusing on making conversion kits for games instead of like actual cabinets, figuring they could uh, they could get a higher install base selling the selling the kits dirt cheap, dirt cheapish like uh, like Mama Top tried to do with Birdie. Didn't work for Mama Top. Wasn't going to work for the Epos Corporation either. So they actually had two games that have 1983 copyright dates. Uh, this one has, uh, what is this image? Oh, it's the flyer. Or no, it's not the flyer, it's the marquee. Uh, let me resize that. There we go. This game is called... Eek! That's three E's and two K's. <laughs> we do have some artwork for this game. No, you're not actually a witch in this game. You're a ghost. Uh, I think we had... Uh, where is it? This was... Oh, this was the bezel art. This. Look at this. Look at this fake piece of shit. <laughs> look at this. Oh, man. That is some, that is some fine art I want around the, uh, the monitor. That's for sure. Yeah, Booberry over there. And there was like a... What is that? Oh, that's just a cabinet. Yeah. It's got some more artwork on the side, but... You can see this was like a... Uh, uh, this was intended for like a, a Pac-Man cabinet because it's got the... Uh, I think it's got the old Midway uh, coin, coin slots at the bottom. Vertical monitor and all that. So they... Uh, it's another game that was marketed as a, uh, a Pac-Man conversion. Because, you know, those Pac-Man cabinets aren't earning money. Nobody, uh... Nobody wants to play Pac-Man anymore. Nobody's going to care about that in the future. Eek, though. This is what's going to make the money. This is what's going to bring them in. Eep, rom, check. Scratch pad. Scratch pad. Sydney's house sitting for his aunt while she's gone to the witch's ball. Oops! Sydney's let some of the neighborhood goblins into the house, and they're wrecking the place! Help Sydney punch them out before Auntie gets back. We got lore. <clears throat> so his punch is just raising the roof. Monsters can teleport. Oh goody! I love to punch bats. Uh oh. Auntie sees this mess, I've had it. And then she tries to murder you. Okay, these sound effects are all over the place. This <laughs> is just Biffo the bear dialogue. This is totally a real game. Exorcist, 100, Sid. Bonus City at 150,000? Jeez. I don't know why they put, like, one one solitary <laughs> high score on the list. Ah! That was loud. Okay. There we go. I'm Sidney the Ghost. Uh, uh, uh. Just hold the button down. Oh, we can't do it when you're climbing stairs! Oh. Let's 
so this sucks. <laughs> oh goody, I love to punch bats. Okay. What is that guy? Oh, he's fucking up the house. This is exciting. Might have lowered the volume too much. Okay. So the game's already in hyperspeed mode. That's great. Get your ass back here. Yeah, you can't, like, clean the, the furniture. They just get fucked up for good. Uh... What was I supposed to do there? Uh, I love to punch bats. Yeah, they're not fixing that toilet. Welcome to the bathroom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't do anything, Auntie. And they want 150,000 for a free life? I'm not even a tenth on the way there. Don't you fuck up the TV. I draw the line there. Uh, does the spider do anything? Damn, I had a combo going there for there. For a moment there. And the witch comes back before the timer's even, like, up. <laughs> that guy almost telefragged me at the beginning. So. What do you think? Is this gonna be the new Pac-Man? Oh, I got a lot of points there. I guess the spider's just there for decoration. This does look like an Action 52 game, doesn't it? Like that fucking... Oh, God. That game where the lights turn out? That is true. There's no toilet in Pac-Man. Like, I don't know if you get, like, a any sort of bonus for stuff that isn't fucked up. Any, isn't fucked up, like... It's not like you can really do anything about what's going on in the top of the screen. Game over, player one. Ah! Ow! Move the joystick up or down to change letter. Hit PUNCH to enter initials. Boom! So why the... Oh, there's a continue option for some reason. Wait, extra life range? It adjusts it? And that's as low as it goes? Oh. 20,000 and 90,000. That'd be better. Difficulty 6 out of how many? Oh, good. It defaulted to 6 out of 8. That's great. Yeah, apparently this is a this is a punch. So even though this was like intended for like Pac-Man cabinets, apparently they went one step further also 
and made a version of this game on Pac-Man hardware. Because the other one ran on its own hardware. This one has a 1984 copyright date. But original version was 83. But, uh... Ah! Fuck! Look at this shit. <laughs> Hey, the spiders actually do something in this version. Punch Witch to slow her relentless pursuit. Commands for gamers. Eek, that was kind of a cool reveal. Also, there's, like, different enemies. There's, like... Why are they blinking? Is this on, on the Atari 2600? Oh, he attacks a lot faster. Look at that shit. Woo! That's pretty good. Looks like he climbs the stairs faster, too. Bats are deadly. Got his ass. I felt like I... Oh. I got a big bonus on that stage. I've already... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Never mind, I did not. So, wait. It says 16,000 at the top. But that's not a stage bonus? Painting's animated, by the way. Oh. Didn't even see it. Oh. Punch the witch to, sl to slow her relentless pursuit. Now I'm hauling ass. Oh god! Uh. <laughs> uh. Great score, player one. Uh. Same kind of high score list. Yeah, why was why was she so fast? <laughs> Okay, well, this defaults to difficulty 4 out of 8. But there's nothing about a bonus life in this version. Peculiar. Yeah, this version kind of... was kind of okay for the first couple stages, and then... It just wants to kill you. I don't know. Uh, this is not great. <laughs> Eek indeed, it makes... It writes its own material for jokes. Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> Can't say I really had that much fun with it. Like, there's not really, not really that much satisfaction in punching them. I don't know. Is this uh, is this better or worse than than Vampire? <laughs> it has bats and ghosts. That's true, and spiders. I don't know. It's better than Number Crash, that is true. 
But Number Crash was allegedly very popular, according to its creator. God damn it! Not enough people voting! Damn, everybody's on mobile. People are on this. 389? Only 32 people voted? You gotta do your civic duty and vote. But yeah, not even the... <laughs> not even the, the serial five voting jokester did it, uh, did it, so... Uh... Well... Yoko wins! Kem Sledge, thank you for the, uh, for the 76 months. Yeah, Uncle Pooh is gonna be the game of the night, probably. Uh, so... <laughs> Alright, well, this is another... Another 1.5 for the spreadsheet. I will put... I will put one. <laughs> it's not... I don't know, it's... That's... Wait, hold on. If I give it a one, I'm saying that it's like... Is it worse than Vampire? I gave Vampire a 2, but then again, Vampire was very, uh... Ambitious? Trying to do new things? Like, this is just very... It's not fun to play. Yeah, trust your gut, it's a 1. Go with your gut. I don't gotta justify shit. I should have had bloody half bongos for, for April Fool's Day. Look, I made those stupid alerts. <laughs> it's not catac yeah, a one is the same rating as catacomb. But if I could give catacomb a zero, I would. I don't know. Whatever, what's done is done. Wins. Huh. Warsaw, thank you for the uh for the forty three months. <laughs> Oh, is that 50k here? That's more reasonable. They just don't let you uh, adjust it. All right, <laughs> whatever. We don't need to get caught up in intense debate on where on where eek lies. It's fine. Anywho. Uh, I think you clip it once again for uh, the number crash cast of characters. Wait a minute, Dorodon's not in this game. What's up with all the replacement slides? That was the only other thing I did for April Fools. I'm letting Ryoko win. How many how many lines were recorded? I don't know. It would be a shame if people started subbing to the channel today. <laughs> we don't we don't need that. Also, thank you, thank you, Dumplesean. For oh, that's big. Who knows? Who knows? Thank God I unlocked that emote today. Who knows? Oh, I scrolled off screen. There we go. Yeah, that's the ghost connection. That's the that's the galloping ghost himself. <laughs> Yoko wins. Almasia. I accidentally covered that up. Thank you for the 41 months. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. <laughs> uh, I recorded all... I literally just said wins over and over into my microphone and, and made a bunch, and then you'll never hear them again after today. What a shame. Thank you for the... Uh, wins! Turborks, hey, thank you for the five months. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so. Um, shut up, Heidi. So there was another game by Epos Corporation. Actually had like two different versions of it, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll look at. It's called The Glob. Another top earning conversion. Citation needed. Uh, new, exciting, challenging. The Glob will get you. Uh, let's, uh... Yoko wins. <laughs> hey, the Ultima! Thank you for for gifting a sub to uh, to Pumpkin Girl. <laughs> Thank you, the Ultima. Uh, Globby's cherries Yoko wins. Twitch Owl, Thank you for the uh, for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the eight months. Glob eats porker. Damn, people are getting Yoko scammed left and right. Wins? Squeamish eleven. Hey, thank you for the uh, for the Twitch Prime. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for the subs. Enjoy the emotes. I do appreciate it. Uh. Yeah, this game doesn't really. Oh God. Oh God. I do... I don't like that that bottom picture. Munch all the snacks. I don't like that. Horrible sandwich glob. Push call button to pick elevator. It's also available as a complete game. Fully tested in convenience stores, bars, and arcades. It's exciting. It will save you money. It has a module available that allows easy conversion. No cassettes to change, just a ROM change, and you have a new game. Headers and overlays come free of charge. So, yeah. Same company that made Eek. Um, Gameplay is a little different. What's this other image? Oh, that's just a marquee. Marquee's pretty awful, too. I don't like his yellow teeth. That's pretty awful. Yeah, I feel like they're they're making up a they're making up a bunch of shit here. <laughs> Most impressive game, top earning conversion. You can just say whatever you want when you're when you're making your own flyer, right? All right. Oop. The glob scratch pad. Game is farting at me like crazy. This is gonna be another game with fucked up audio levels, huh? Munch all the snacks to clear the level. Ding! What is going on with this game's audio? So you have to squish the enemies. Hey, bunny, it's an Easter game. Monkey. And porker! Oh, Porker got him. Alright. Press one player start. Oh, let's look at the, uh, the dip switches. 10,000 plus difficulty times 10,000? That's a... Interesting way to do it. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Button two is the elevator button. All right. Well, I like how level one is basically a tutorial level. You don't have to kill the enemies. Just get the shove the snacks in your mouth and go. Energy level as a timer. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Ah! Oh, come on! So the enemy was like. 
that, that didn't count. <laughs> That's bullshit. I don't know why the, the music is so so low volume, but that's probably for the best. <laughs> There's like a very faint, like the audio levels are like all fucked up here. I don't know, I don't think it was like that before. <clears throat> Dead. So why is everybody out to kill the glob? Are they protecting their snacks? You don't get many points for killing them. You get like 77 points. 66. I guess that's to, to keep you from leeching for too long, so I guess that's good. Oh yeah, Mark Alpiger loves this game, doesn't he? Say in his marp up. Whoa! Oh, oh, push the wrong button. I think the elevator can squish you, by the way. Yeah, no death animation. Just kind of. Eh, you're dead. Cut the feed. That is kind of whack. Hey, they're taking my elevator. Stupid monkey. They called the elevator and I died. That was whack. I don't know, I got squished. Oh, the monkey was in it? I didn't see it. Must have just came in. There's the porker. Oh, I killed the porker. Monkeys keep fucking with my elevator. Okay, can I fucking... No, that time I got I got hit by the elevator. <laughs> Get energy to enter initials. The mob mashers! Okay, that didn't that didn't seem like a very good run. I'm gonna try that again. Now that I know what I'm doing. Totally know what I'm doing. Wait, I'm gonna just stand right here. Okay, that does squish you. I just wanted to say. Oh, not okay. Why was why was the video RAM uh, fucked up? Eh, well, I think this game has a better learning curve than Eek. Like, at least this, this first level, like, not much happens. What is this guy doing? Uh. I can't get that. Yeah, Eek was... Oh my god! There's at least like a little more a little more strategy in the timing in this game. Whereas in Eek, you just hold down the you just hold down the punch button and hope for the best. So there is there is some whole timing thing to the attacks in this game, I guess. That's I guess that's something. Also, I said this stage was easy and I just died on it, so. <laughs> Shows what I know. I mean, the thing was, Pac-Man cabinets were... were everywhere. They sold a... they sold a shitload of Pac-Man cabinets, so they were... Every arcade would have at least one. Yoko. Wins? So there were plenty of, uh... Plenty of cabinets out there, and it was, you know, much cheaper to... 
Much cheaper to sell a game as just a conversion kit than selling a whole new cabinet. Nuclear potato, thank you for the uh, for the 72 months. Thank you for the six bongo birthdays. Okay. <laughs> thank you for the resub. Uh, the white dots are elevator buttons. Like that. Ow! Yeah, if it disappears, you just have to, like, reload the stream. I'm not very good at this. But, it's definitely a better game than Eek. It's definitely not a one bongo, at least. Uh, you're being chased! That was actually, like, surprisingly generous on that hitbox, huh? It looked like the sprites were overlapping, but it didn't kill me. No, that was nice of them. Monkeys are jerks. Ah, there's that monkey. I think that monkey just killed himself with the, his own elevator. That was good. Ah, oh, what? That sucked. Once they introduce monkeys in this game, the game gets the game gets hard. <laughs> you don't know what's going on with these elevators. Yeah, I got crushed in the elevator. That's the same thing that happened to me on my first credit. That didn't count as a squish. Alright. So this might be... Okay, wait, when did this one come out? Still 83, okay. So there was an update called Super Glob. Cool logo. Yeah, how does a bunny murder the glob anyway? It's just a bunny. Maybe I should write in the, uh, the game title. I don't think this game is significantly different, so we'll probably just be raiding them together. Let's just get right into it. Uh, looks mostly the same. Yeah, they did They did not pull a Super Zaxxon or a... Uh, I was going to say Super Cubert. Faster, harder, more challenging Cubert. That didn't count as a crush? I'm getting robbed on some of these. This mostly seems like the same game, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna say the weird thing about faster, harder, more challenging Cubert is that the ROM name in MAME is S Cubert. Not F H M C Cubert or anything like that. It's just S Cubert. When there's no S in the like the faster, harder, or more challenging. Ooh, we got ham. So like somebody wanted to call it Super Cubert and and is unwilling to like change the the name of the ROM in MAME now. Sex Cubert? Man. Still doesn't seem that different. Okay, 
Okay, I got a glob back. This maze is different, I guess, right? Ah! Oh, it's already getting fast. Okay, so it speeds up faster. I see. Oh, I can't go up. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, this maze is different. I have to deal with jerk-ass monkeys now. Oh, boy. Mmm, yeah, I don't know about this stage. <laughs> better version. I guess? <laughs> well, I didn't get very far. <laughs> but it was introducing some new stages. So I guess that's what makes it super. And it gets faster. Mm. Still feel like they're they're like mostly the same game. They're very similar, anyway. So I, I think they can be, be rated together. You know, if you prefer Super Glob, give the, give the good rating to Super Glob. I will put a poll in chat. I don't want to see any ties this time. Y'all better have opinions about Super Glob and the Glob. <laughs> Or else. Or else I'll just sit here and be mad. Yeah, I don't know. It's better than Eek. Uh, is it all that fun, though? Mmm. I don't know. I've, I've never really felt this game. I had tried it in the past, but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh god, it's, al it's almost split again. It is split. Is this the definition of a 2.5? It was tied between two and three for a little bit. Damn, I got two fives. Damn, the serial, the serial jokester uh, brought a friend. Um, uh, it was very close. Uh, yeah, I don't think it quite Yoko. wins. <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't believe me. Hey! Wow, thank you for the five gift subs. Holy cow. That is, uh... That is very Whoa. kind of you. Wins? <laughs> Congrats to anybody that caught a sub. Yeah, I'm thinking too, also. Yoko. Wins! <laughs> it was almost a tie. Wins. Huh. Yeah, I could see you giving them four wags, but uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't like it that much. Ryoko wins. I gotta do this for all the other characters now, right? <laughs> do it for them on their birthday. Yeah, two bongo seems about right. But I can see it. I can see it being a three or higher. I hate those fucking monkeys, man. I hate the monkeys. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, 
else did I have? Okay. Alright, I I barely played this one. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even really like looking the strats for this one. Oh, Twitch cops are here. Um another game, no flyer, no nothing. Uh I forgot to grab a screenshot of this. I guess we'll just have to jump right into it. Um, this is... This game is called Grass Pin. Developed by uh, Xylec Electronics. Right? The makers of Blueprint. So you know you're in for quality. It's on Blueprint Hardware. And it was licensed to Jalico. But this is another game that... Got no, uh... <laughs> no art. No nothing. You're a horrible clown man moving, uh... Moving stuff around. And then his head falls off! Weirdest death animation. I don't know, this is looking kind of fake to me. Score table. 300 put. An action 52 character that dies like that. Yeah. Okay, um... Oh, there's water. So Bioko <laughs> wins. Even the demo doesn't know what they're doing. Son of Donut. Thank you for the 14 months. Okay. Try A. Okay, so the button does that. I think you can actually swim in this game. No, you can't. You need the life preserver. Okay. Get that. Uh oh. I'm in gay baby jail. Alright. So you get the life preserver. Oh! It takes you downstream, okay. Wait, what does the red one do? Is that the one that... What? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try that again. Not the beach ball! Wait, that just takes you all the way down? But, like... Why would you do that? What is happening? <laughs> I can't get out. Oh, I killed him. How did I kill him? Wait, I didn't kill him. No bonus unlucky. How high can you try? Wait, that's Donkey Kong. Okay, I assume you're supposed to pick up the letters in order? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Next, B. Okay. Uh, that guy's cock blocking the safe. There we go. Oh, 
Ah! Don't mind me de just detaching my head for a bit. <laughs> Didn't even get on the high scores. Uh, okay. Let's try this again. What is that thing? Oh my god. Okay, reset. <laughs> I just want to spell the bonus, man. Hard. This game makes more sense than Beezer, I'll give it that. Not many... Not many things are as inscrutable as Beezer. I was a actually able to clear a stage. Well, no, I cleared a stage of Beezer by just, like... What did I do in that game? The game still sucks. Well, I was pushing down, what the fuck? There's a lot of Wikipedia going on right now. <laughs> Damn, I just want a spell bonus! Okay. B. Get away from me. Alright, well, these guys. Oh! All at the top. That's not good. These guys gonna get out of the thing. Okay. Wait, I thought I I thought I had a life preserver. What? <laughs> ah, not the beach ball. Um. Uh, I have no idea what, what the fuck is going on in this game. There we go. Good! Bonus 5,000. That's it? I did all that for 5,000? What do you need for a high score or extra life? Nothing. There are no extra lives. Suffer. I mean, there might be, but I don't know. Alright, I fucked up the bonus. What? The red thing... The red... wall kills you? Is that what just happened? Uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, it changed the uh, the order of the posts. Usually, I was at the bottom. Thing about like rotating the the walls, it keeps fucking me up because like I don't always end up where I want to be. <laughs> That's what's really getting me. Okay, that enemy's stuck in there. There he goes. Yeah, he's bouncing. Ah! Can't even 
even get on the high scores. Good. Yeah, nobody... There's no answer for the lore in this game. It's just... <laughs> oh god, it turns around! Okay, that thing didn't kill me that time. I don't... I don't get it. Ah! No! I double tapped the button. I panicked. Player one, game over. Well... <laughs> I'm confused because one time I picked up... I thought I picked up the Life Preserver, and then... I guess I didn't. <laughs> it didn't give me credit, and then I ran into the water and died. You know your game is in trouble when, like, Blueprint makes more sense than this game. <laughs> the demo just gave up. Of course, that, that idiot clown doesn't... <laughs> doesn't know how to swim. What the hell was that death animation? His his head got like covered up and then it came back around. What is any of this? <laughs> yeah, blame the <laughs> blame the British. Uh, I don't know about this. If you dropped a quarter into this like how satisfied would you be with what was happening on screen? I would say not very. There is no real satisfaction to be had here. In anything. <laughs> like, I'm not even sure, like, what happened with that wall in the middle? I guess there's way to kill ways to kill enemies, but like, how do you do it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Fake game. Well, 85% of the votes gave it a 1. Oop. And I have the wrong the wrong text up on screen. Or the wrong... I need to remember to remove those every time I, I switch scenes. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, no, that's... That is a... That is a one bongo game. Not even close to a tie. Wasn't necessary. Uh, maybe there's some lore master that's gonna tell me, oh, you're you're doing this wrong. You need to do this. You need to do that. Um... Whale. Whale. Knocked out the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what they were going for here, but it it didn't work. All right, I guess there's some more art. Give me give me a second. I'm gonna catch up here.
69. <laughs> Damn, two 69s in, in one night? Y'all are getting around the uh, the special Ryoko wins emotes, or er, alerts. Jackie Sparkles! Thank you for the 69. Damn, twice in one night? That's one of the odds. Good shit. Thank you for the resub. Much appreciated. Anyway. Uh, quick art catch up. Why does this keep going to the wrong directory? Come on, man. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Clip It, for the uh, for the birdie art. What's that about Ryoko? Ryoko keeps winning tonight. Everybody who subs to this channel. Ryoko seems to win. It's weird. Never seen it happen before. And thank you for the... Uh, there's some glob art. <laughs> Shooting the glob is 100% legal. <laughs> now that's how the bunny gets a kill. Who would have thought? Yoko wins. Noman, thank you for the uh, for the eighty six months. Would I say it's a trick? Look, it just happened. <laughs> you think I'm lying about these things? I am hurt. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Clip it for those. Uh, thank you, Turborks. First time artist. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the glob's horrible teeth. <laughs> uh, Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, that's how it looked on the marquee. It had those awful, awful teeth. And thank you, Chubo, for the e-card. Or Auntie will be ever so cross if she finds out about this. Those dudes are naked. Why is Biffo in a picture back there? I need to trash that picture of Biffo. The tarantula! Oh yeah, the tarantula's got a knife. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Chubo. Thank you, Turborks. Thank you, Clip at 97. Yoko wins. System ZG. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. <laughs> I know, uh. I know you're part of the Ryoko fan club. <laughs> Thank you for the Twitch Prime. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can do at least a couple more games. We might have to do a re-rating of a game that like uh, showed up a couple weeks ago, too. I'll probably do that at the end of the stream. Um... Yeah, let's do this. I don't know if this game has, like, huge fake game energy, but it's another game, like, nobody really knows or talks about. And since everybody is talking about, uh, about Rare and the Stamper Brothers, yeah, there is a, uh, there is a connection here. Uh, where is it? There is actually a flyer for this. Tim Stamper posted the flyer on Twitter a while back. Uh, this is Dingo. That is a <laughs> very good picture. 
Dingo by Ashby. What is it called? I'll get the name up, don't worry. The new smash hit Galaxian based novelty cartoon game everyone's been waiting for. Really? A superb novelty cartoon fun game which will capture the hearts of both young and old alike. To stop the little blighters squashing the melons, you must daze the dingoes and dash to collect the melons as fast as you can and earn the time bounds. But remember, dingoes like melons and they like to throw them too. So be prepared with lots of fruit to throw back. In the new whimsical adventure, Dingo. Those ruddy blighters! Yeah, Ashby, uh, Ashby Computers and Graphics, which were previously known as Ultimate Play the Game. And then they later became Rare. I always get this name wrong. So they, uh, Stamper Brothers developed this back in 1983. It might have, I think it only got a release in the UK, as far as I know. Didn't, uh, didn't make it out of, uh, didn't make it out of Europe. Uh, just another one of those games that, it wasn't even on Rare Replay. Like, Rare Replay had, like, all those, all those old games they did. This wasn't on there. That's because this game is fake, right? Is that what it means? But is it better than Grass Pin? That's the question. Ah! Galaxian hardware, baby. So you're the bear, and you gotta pick up the fruit. And you can throw stuff at the dingoes. <laughs> I like how he just sinks into the ground when he dies. Also licensed to, to Jalico. Melon, strawberry, lemon, blackberry, tomato, raspberry, black currant. Top scores, nobody. Use the joystick to move Big Ted round the melon field. Dash to collect all the fruit before Dingo to help earn a time bonus. Dingo will sm will squash Ted if he can be seen. Dingoes like to flatten and throw fruit, so chuck them back by using the fire button. It's it's a pretty simple game. So it's a maze game, but every time you pick up one of the, the fruit items, you can actually throw it. But you can only throw one at any given time. You have to pick up another one to throw another, so uh, you can kind of kind of mash a bit. One thousand points. Okay. OBS is showing this as being like really loud, but I think this game just has questionable audio emulation. It seems pretty low to me. Quiet. Yeah, it seemed quiet. I don't know if it sounded different in other versions of MAME. Also, there's a timer at the top of the screen. How long your credit's been gone. Alright. There's gonna be some loud pops, I guess. So you know what? This is kind of a game. This is kind of an actual game. <laughs> it's very simple. But you get to you get to shoot stuff. This is not this is not terrible. 
Yeah, if only he could still floss on Twitch. So I guess you're supposed to pick up three of the same fruit in order to get, like, a bonus? Is that what's going on here? Oh, God. Yeah, 1,000. Oh, he's dead. Oh, damn, any teabag, mate? What a fucker. Oops. Okay, the control's a little goofy at times. Maybe you should just be throwing stuff, like, all the time at the start of the stage, just to stun as many enemies as possible. you're supposed to pick up that specific food item for a bonus on that stage, or if it's just three of any food item. Okay. Either way, there's, like, too much shit going on. I'm just trying to pick up whatever. Ah! Oh, he got... I was around the corner. Where oh, fudge is made. Oh, the level ended when they squashed it. But yeah, the, the movement's a little goofy. The way he just, like, uh, like, magnets around the edges. Okay, yeah, I picked up three strawberries in order and it didn't give me a thousand, so... I guess it's whatever food item it shows gives you the bonus 1,000. I don't know. <laughs> Man, they keep clipping me around the corner. I don't like that. Yeah, bongo and dingo. Yo, oh, Schubert! Thank you for the the raid. How's it going? We've been enjoying some fine video games here tonight. Now this oh my god. Three of my deaths were when I thought like I was like far enough away. Today's top score, Dingo will remember you. That's that's a threat. I don't like that. Dingo will remember you. Excellent. I'll play that again. <laughs> but how many people remember Dingo? Not many. Didn't even make it onto Rare Replay. I don't know why not. Like, this game isn't awful. I got pushed to reject with it. Hope you didn't miss too many good video games. Well, today we've been covering the fakest video games of 1983. Wait, can I not? I can't reset? Hold on. The reset key doesn't work. Yeah, we played Uncle Pooh, we played Vampire. We played Eek. <laughs> and Number Crash, everybody everybody loves Number Crash. Let me try that again. What's going on with the music? I 
like it when arcade games have like a built-in timer to tell you how long your credit's going. Robocop did that on the high score screen. So did Vapor Trail. Data East liked that for some reason. Being chased. say this game was like dumped in MAME before Rare Replay came out. So I know this was found like... Wow! <laughs> nice stealth. Um, I, I know like this, like a board of this wasn't found until like sometime in the 2010s, right? So it took a while just to find a board of this. It's very... Outrageously rare. Yeah. Also, the, I guess the timer freezes between stages, so that's not really a, a true indicator of how long your credit is. The control is a little goofy. I don't know if I need, like, a four-way gate to play this. The control does feel a little... a little odd at times. Don't you squash my fruit. lane, but the bottom of the board is... Yeah? They couldn't fit any fruit up there. Ah. Oh my god. Maybe? Okay, yeah. I don't know. The movement in this game just feels weird. It's hard to put into words. But it doesn't control as well as you would want for a maze game like this. Oh, double KO! And then I got teabag. points. I'm not even trying for the bonuses. The game feels too chaotic to try for that when struggling with the controls. I mean, you get pretty decent points just for picking up fruit in the first place, so... Funny if you actually got a 1,000 point bonus in the in the intro. <laughs> I remember there was one game that did that, where it showed like a, a demo of what you're supposed to do. Oh, it was Triple Punch. Yeah, it was Triple Punch. I think they gave you points, right? That's another game. I don't remember. But there was something that showed like a demo of you like killing enemies or whatever, and then it actually gives you the points for killing the enemies. Like, oh, oh, cool. Points for free. I earn those. I'm a good gamer. Yeah, this game's fine. It's not, uh... Not super advanced for 1983, but it's, it's fine. Ah, double kill. 
I def that credit definitely lasted longer than four minutes and eleven seconds. Dingo will remember you. I've never been so threatened in my life. Yeah, it's all right. Turn down the volume so I don't get I don't get clicked on. Hey, and it keeps the the top initials at the top of the screen. I like that. I like it when games let you show off. Shout us to Last Resort, and it's the ice score that nobody could ever beat. All right, let's, let's do a poll. Watch out. Give us a minute. Vote on a scale of one to five bongos. Y'all know the drill. Yeah, this is this is towing the line between a, a two and a three, I think. I don't know which way I'm gonna go. Yeah, you do, you do kind of you play like one stage and you've seen everything there is to see in the game. <laughs> My voice about doubled up. Oh, it was doing it was doing weird sh doing weird shit to the uh, the audio. Well, got a three. Yeah, there's there must be something in my in the mic filters that's uh that's running wrecking havoc with this. Yeah, or it was the Franker faces compressor. I don't know. Anyway, uh, well, the votes were pretty split between three and two. Uh, chat gave it a three. Um, yeah, let me just let me just kill the game so the audio doesn't doesn't do that again. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll give it a three. The the music, I mean, the music's kind of catchy. It's kind of got some charm to it. It is very simple. It is very repetitive. A lot of games of this time were, but it's not bad. It's it's a playable game. Maybe my maybe my expectations have gone in the toilet after like <laughs> some of the stuff I've after like number crash and. And stuff. I can't. I, I. I can't be using like the other games to to judge stuff. But uh, I kind of like it. It's all right. It's perfectly fine. Oh no, not the number crash community. All right. Thank you. Oh, where to go? Thank you gun tanks for the uh for the dingo art. <laughs> Ted and the and the dingo. Ted the Bear. Thank you, Gun Tanks. And thank you, Chubo, for the uh, probably the only art of grass pin on the internet. That's a big schnoz. I hate that fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's doing the keep on trucking walk. Thank you, Chubo. <laughs> yeah, he's got a big nose. And that can mean only one thing. He's got big boogers. Alright. Uh, are we really going to do this game? We're going to do one more game for, for Push to Reject tonight. Um... Uh, uh, I do not endorse the uh, uh, the the viewpoints shown in uh, any game I play tonight. They are they are products of their time. I uh, I'm doing this from a historical standpoint. No, I'm not playing the Naked Guy game. But I am going to play... Uh, we are going to look uh, very briefly at, at Harem. Uh-oh, it's doing the clipping, too. Well, by IGR... Take the Odalisk. And put her on the bed. The best in this game today is DDD. Challenge him! So... Yeah. You know, that makes sense because it has a four-digit credit counter. Just like Scorpion. Imagine putting a thousand credits into the Hera machine. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> thank you. It's the same. It's the same thank you noise too. Press start button, please. Press start button, please. Thank you. It's not gonna say it again. Okay. All right. So, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude! Monkey! Okay. That's a button check. Dude, the game barely started and the monkey threw the, the coconut, like, immediately. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Alright. Please. Please. Okay, let's try this again. No, you get three lives. Oops, I'm on the wrong window. There we go. Alright. Nope. She got murdered. If you run into the camel, you get, you get squashed. All right. Oh, God. Put her on the bed. Go again. Go again. The camels melt into the ground when they die, but when they're melting, they can kill you. Found that out the hard way. Oh. Go, again. Go again. Yeah, it's just like Scorpion going, All right. Go again. Go again. That guy died. Four. Go again. Go again. Let's just murder some camels. You get points for that. <laughs> I like when the... Wait, what? Oh, the... Wait. The stage ended when the last dude died. Okay. <laughs> just fucking shoot the cars. Fuck it. Yeah. Go ah! Go again. The fucking monkey! Okay. 
Yeah, the cars turn into water for some reason. Second. Go again. Go again. Those guys you don't need to fuck with, but you know. Wait. They don't they don't get run up okay, they do get run over by the cars. Third. Go again. That's a big hitbox. Bing bing. Oh god. Okay. Oh That's a big hitbox when they chase you. I can't beat DDD. Uh. Thank you. I want to at least finish stage two. So last time I didn't, uh, I didn't put all the girls on the beds. <laughs> I ended up murdering all the guys, and that counts as clearing the stage, I guess. Am I, am I safe down here? Those guys can't go down there? Kind of looks like it. I have one shot at a time, by the way. Ah! Third. Go again. I was dying of bonus deprivation. Ah! The melted camel got me. Man. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Just fucking end me. I gotta get on the top scores, right? I gotta I gotta show everybody I'm the best at this racist game. Or do I? I guess I don't. Fucking camel melt Ah Thank you. <laughs> when the guys chase you, if they're just anywhere near you, they just fucking push. They beat your ass. Thank you. They're beating your ass in the QRTs. Okay. Dead. Boom. Go again. I kind of want to see what happens when he dies of bonus deprivation. Second. Go again. Oh, you can't fire any shots when you're in the white void. Okay. But you are safe down there. Go, <laughs> Go again. Go again. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to wait. Uh oh. Four. Go again. Go again. Uh... Alright, one more. Go again. Don't run into a camel, dude. I want to get the bonus. There we go. Okay, I guess it doesn't really do anything different. So it probably is... Probably is easier to just murder all the dudes, but... Uh, you have to put a girl on the bed to reset the bonus. So you have to keep doing that. I'm still in Act 1, I just realized. I just saw that at the bottom right corner of the screen. This is still Act One. Third, go again. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mortis. He mixed it up. That's canon now. Waffle said it was canon. The monkey can't turn around. I love when they just run into the cars. Go again. 
Hey, I, I committed a bunch of murder. Yay. Oh, act two. Whoa! <laughs> I saw the snake and I freaked out. What am I doing here? Uh. Huh? Oh. I see. You gotta find, uh, okay. Hate that fucking monkey. Okay. Yeah, what if I just murder the dudes? Yeah. Just take them from the tents. <laughs> Damn, this guy is ledge guarding. Boom. Four, go again. The monkey watches and waits. Fifth, go again. <laughs> I can't get out of the void. There we go. Shot is so slow. <clears throat> All right, now what? Act three. Oh, bonus first phase. Bonus. Bonus win. But wait, there was... Okay, whatever. Hey, I cleared a loop. How about that? I might just get that high score. Go again. Second. Go again. So now it looks like three enemies can come out at once. Oh, the bonus is like... The bonus started higher, but it's ticking down faster. Also, I got the 15,000. Wahoo! Oh, I killed the girl! <laughs> she was gonna get run over by the camel anyway. No, I'm not doing this game for 1cc BBH. <laughs> it's weird because it counts uh, both... There's like two screens for Act One. Go again. And then Act Two is just one screen. <laughs> Good. Had it coming. Attention. Danger. Danger. Snake. It is pretty funny how you can just get fucking blasted at the start of a life. Boom. I know the bad guys are in these tents. Why can't I just attack the tents? I almost died to the melting car. Oh! The monkey! Score another kill for the monkey. You are the best! I, I don't want to be the best. Why didn't I put a fake name? <laughs> The best in this game today is BBH. Challenge him. Or don't. Please don't. Actually, no, please do. Please beat my score. Good demo. I like it when the demo just... You always gotta like it when the demo dies immediately. Ah, so... Yeah. <laughs> Kind of a product of its time. I guess it's I guess it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we know how the voting's gonna go. I don't. Like, if you just want to give us a one, go ahead. <laughs> just go ahead. Yeah, the 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 oh, 
the game design is, uh... uh I, mean, I mean, it kind of mixes it up a little bit. You know, one stage has camels and then it turns into cars? That's... Oh. And then there was a snake at one point. But, you know, taken strictly from, like, a gameplay perspective, um, it makes more sense than Number Crash. So at least there's that. Yeah, we we'll just have a, a an active uh, oil thing in the background to to show us the Middle East, just to just to hammer it in. What? No gigasturts. Thank you for the bungo birthday. Thank you for the twelve months. I got I got to get better at this. I got to click a button to do that. Okay. That was not a three. That was a 1. 78% gave it a 1. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't need art of this game. <laughs> That's why I put it at the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have games like Vampire where you're, you're the bad guy. And you're, you're, killing, you're killing women. And that's kind of fucked up, but, uh, this is a different kind of fucked up. This we didn't need. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's get this off the screen. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, vampires aren't racist stereotypes, so that's, that's true. That's kind of what... What really does it... All right, so that's uh, uh, that's all I want to do for uh, for fake game night. I mean, there's some other some other games that are pretty weird, but we'll see them uh, we'll see them soon enough. There's one game I had to I had it on the list, but I guess we didn't get around to it. I guess we'll come back around for that. Uh, soon. Eleven games, yeah. So the only thing I want to... I, I just want to take care of this right now, because uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, one of the Data East games I played, Data East slash Technos games I played, uh, Zero Eyes, I was kind of... I was kind of hard on it. Like, I gave it a two. Chat gave it a three, I think. Let me double check the... The spreadsheet. Just to confirm. Cause yeah, I got my I got my ass beat by that game. I couldn't get past stage two. And so I didn't really wanna I didn't really think very highly of it. Um Hayes brought it to my attention in the uh, in the YouTube comments. Uh I mean, the game had two buttons. There was a speed-up button and a, and a break button. The whole thing with that game is that, uh, you know, you're, you and the enemies are trying to ram each other into walls. And what I didn't realize is that if you hit button two when, when enemies, like, uh, ram into you, that, like, counteracts the, uh, the skidding so you, uh, you don't ram into the wall. I didn't realize that. <laughs> and that seems like an important part of the game. So I'm going to give this another play. I gave this a 2 the first time. Let's see if I changed my mind.
This isn't the first time I've re-rated a game. I re-rated uh, Liberator. Oh, I forget how, how cursed this got. That weird Atari uh, Missile Command-like. I know Atari made Missile Command, but... Because, yeah, I could not get past round two of this. I couldn't... I couldn't beat the default 50,000 high score. Did kind of wonder if there was uh, something I was missing. Because, yeah, an enemy would ram you, and then you would go, like, half the screen. And I'm like, shit, how are you supposed to... How are you supposed to survive in this game? Turns out, button two. <laughs> button two is the key. So thank you, Hayes, for bringing this to my attention. No bonus car. All right, 50,000. All right. There we go. Yeah, we did play this a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I don't know if the demo showed it either. Presumably, like, there'd be, like, there might be some instructions on the bezel. But, I don't know. Try next round. Try! Next round. Ooh, combos. Cause yeah, that was the other issue I had. Like, like some enemies would, like, lock onto you really fast. Oh god. There we go, see? Button two. Button two makes you go slow. And you can kind of counteract it. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's much better. Had I known this the first time. Okay, that guy, you cannot ram into him. Got to ram an enemy into him. Although eventually the enemies just leave anyway. Oh god, there's two of them. Give me that bonus bit. Uh-oh. The meteor. I suppose these are Huppy Up enemies, huh? Do I have to kill them? They kind of leave on their own. Oh yeah, I made it past round two. Challenge stage! There's a bonus stage in this game, who knew? Get back here, you. points for this. You got 8 bits. Perfect! Bonus 20,000. Damn. Alright. We might beat that default score. Ooh, new background. It kind of hurts the eyes a little bit. New music. Uh, oh, too close to the wall. Remainder one. I should have turned extra life on. Huh? Yeah, this isn't great to look at. <laughs> it's still really hard to, like... Knock enemies into these. Okay, never mind. I got one. One of the enemies you can't ram. Bonus bit. Oh no, can't get it. I wish there was, like, an indicator to tell you, like, how many enemies you have to kill. I guess when the music speeds up, you know it's almost over, huh? Yeah, you better run. I tied the, the high score somehow. 
Because, yeah, I think I was only getting, like, like 18,000 or something on the... On that, uh, on that stream. That wasn't very good. That seems a little better. Oh, fall. It's still a little, uh... A little difficult, but... At least you can recover from hits. And the enemies can go over pits. I don't like that part. That's kind of cheating. Yeah, you just hold the button down and you just recover. Crazy. Damn it. <laughs> this guy's good. Oh, he's good. What do, I do? what do I do here? Oh! You come out of different things. stage? No. Well, at least this background's easier on the eyes. Is this just stage one? More enemies? Damn! Wombo combo. <laughs> Alright, well, they ran out of backgrounds pretty early. the problem. This guy's aggressive. Nice! Got his ass. Oh, you get, like, bonus points for knocking them in the pit, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> this guy's all over my ass. Damn it. How can you lose other than hitting a pit? Those, those flashing enemies, those guys kill you on contact. And, you know, maybe they'll just keep ramming you, like, over and over to to kill you. Oh, you get the credits for getting into the high scores, huh? Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot more fun now. <laughs> uh... I don't know if we have to, like, re-vote re with chat. I don't know if... Well, we might as well, right? But I'll just say right now, I gave this a 2 before. Uh, I'm definitely upping it to a 3. But chat had already given this a 3. I don't know if we need the poll. Unless people think this is worth a four now. We'll do a poll. Why not? <laughs> yeah, like, I was I was surprised, like, chat gave it a three. I'm like, man, okay, well, they... They like the concept a lot, but I don't think they... I don't think they really understood, like, how... Uh, how fast you get bodied in this game. But turns out that was just, uh, that was just me being bad and not knowing about button two. <laughs> Yeah, it was two weeks ago, actually. That's when we did all the Data East games. The Daughter East games. But no, I think this is a solid three now. It did kind of, uh... It did kind of, like, run out of backgrounds, like, early on. Like, by, by round six? Round five? Did it count the challenge stages around? I don't know. Um... It was essentially, like, loop back around to the, the, the first area. They're just throwing more, uh, harder enemies at you. God damn it! BBH, you did it again. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is definitely 
Definitely a better game now. It's definitely worthy of a three. I'm going to, uh, uh, I'll probably make a note about this in the, uh, in the YouTube upload. To say, like, I don't know, do I have to upload this, like, as a new part? I'll probably just include a link to it. Maybe I should, I don't know. More shit to upload to YouTube. I'll worry about it later. Oh, wait, let me, uh, <laughs> remove this before next week. Gotta get better about that. Old sloppy BBH. Because, yeah, the original video is kind of, uh... Hmm. Yeah, how am I going to do this? <laughs> Nah, I'll figure it out. I don't want to, uh... I don't want to give bad impressions of these games. I'm trying to be, uh... I'm trying to be as honest and, and open about these games as possible. In terms of what I think about them and... How they, uh... How they play. Ryoko winning will be missed. Yeah, maybe I can have it as, like, a rare alert. I don't know like what the uh what the pull rate is on on rare alerts but But yeah, that was my uh that was my April Fools thing, I guess. <laughs> Yoko wins. That's it with the the default announcer. I I left that in. I don't know if that one even came up tonight. I think it was all me. Because I had five others. Ryoko wins? Ryoko wins? Ryoko wins. Huh. Ryoko wins. <laughs> Ryoko wins. <laughs> it was all me. And I and I didn't disable the one where she loses, so like the like the, the third one that like came up. <laughs> like the, the the fucking the third person to sub tonight, I think it was, uh, who was it? Was it, uh, it was Impending Disaster, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll be in there as a rare alert. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for now. Hope everybody, uh, everybody, uh, learned a lot tonight about, uh, about fake video games. <laughs> if you missed the VOD, uh, some people came in late, uh, didn't, didn't get to see Uncle Pooh. It's there at the, at the start of the VOD, so. Be sure to check that out. We talked a lot about, uh, about Hara Industries and all their weird shit. And that'll be all up on, on YouTube uh, this week. Um, I didn't get to stream last night because uh, Heidi and I were on our on Smite's arcade pit yesterday. Uh, we lost a real a real nail biter of a game, unfortunately. But we uh... wins. Hey, SK got the uh, the regular alert. It never came up all night, and SK got it. Nice. SK, thank you for the eighty six months. <laughs> what are the odds? All right. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, on only SK wins. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, probably, probably wrapping up some uh, some unfinished chivos. Like I was doing those those game ground Sega Master System chivos. I want to get back to those. And Thursday will probably be uh, more of the same. Uh, I regret to inform everybody that I, uh, I signed at, at the last minute. I decided to sign up for the uh, the Callus Cup tournament, <laughs> and uh, games haven't been announced yet. So I don't I don't know what games I'm playing. 
Uh, I think uh, I think they get announced on like on like Wednesday or something. Something like that. It's it's mostly shmups, of course. So it's like it's like these games out of like uh, depends on like what people voted for. So uh, uh, yeah, don't look at the don't look at category number three, please. <laughs> so I will probably be doing some some streams of that uh, in the future. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how hard I'm going to be going in on this because it all it all kind of depends on what games get picked. I mean, it's only 10 games. It's not that much, but uh, there's like a lot of shit here I don't want to play. <laughs> there's a lot of sh I don't know. It depends on what gets in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens on, on Wednesday. But I will probably probably stick to the Chivo plan on, on Wednesday and Thursday. Because I I think this officially starts on Friday. Right? April fifth? Yeah, fifth is a Friday. Okay. Although maybe it Maybe it starts at midnight, which would be nine PM my time. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh just Pray to whatever deity you pray to that I don't have to play butt, Greg. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, uh, who am I hosting? Galaxian's playing uh, Neo Turf Masters again. I hosted him the other day, but I feel like I don't catch his streams that much, so I'll host him again. Anyway, uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Catch y'all again soon. See you next. Congratulations, you won. You fight in the future. We fight again. Bye-bye.